what's his name? Michael Gallup had a doitier touchdown for the Cowboys. Oh, shoot. I think I have Gallup. I didn't update my lineup. Hopefully he's in. Or maybe I'm thinking of the other league. Probably thinking of little little Jordan. <laughs> oh, I got to get little Jordan. <laughs> Let me. Uh, I'm going to circulate our link now. We are live now, by the way. Well, little Jordan just scored a touchdown for the. Uh, I got to see that. Thanks. You, can you send, put a link in the chat? Can I see that this person's name is actually little yeah. Jordan? Yeah, I can do that for you. <laughs> All right. Let's get this pop in. <laughs> there you go. I'm uh, copy and pasting right into private. What was going on in uh, Todd group today? I haven't. Uh... Nothing much, I don't think. Okay. I saw somebody was saying something. Can't believe my number one song this year was Viol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have Cam Newton still in on your lineup. I'm looking at your lineup to see if you have Michael Gallup. You don't have him. In this Is league. he. Um, Wait, is Cam Newton not playing this week? Bye week. Okay. You had Joe Burrow though. I think he's better anyway than Cam Cam Newton. Uh, yeah. You know, Burrow's definitely been better than I anticipated this year. And you got uh, Aaron Waller in a tight end, so doubtful. Yeah, it sucks that he got hurt last game. I was not happy with that. Um, yeah, I got to make some moves before Sunday. I'll handle it later. Who am I even playing this week? You are playing Fort Mayans. Oh, Pippi Pop. That's a good. That's a big game for Pippi. So we could Pippi's mess this whole season up. Yeah. <laughs> I see Lil Jordan here. Hold on, let me click on Lil it. Jordan Humphreys. <laughs> <laughs> his uh, his mom. His, I, his mom must have loved. Like Lil Wayne or something. Hey, Lil Jordan. We got Big Jordan. Gotta have Lil Jordan. <laughs> his dad's name's his dad's name's not just Jordan, it's Big Jordan. <laughs> Big oh, Apostle Jordan. That's pretty crazy that that's his name. And he's not a little dude. He's 6'4", 225. And the thing is, like you can't even, you can't be mad at Lil Jordan. You gotta be mad at Lil Jordan's mom. Right. You can't be mad at Lil Jordan. Lil Mama made Lil Jordan his name. <laughs> It's in the chat for anyone who wants to check out Lil Jordan. Um, he's got a he's got an album dropping soon too. <laughs> Lil Jordan Volume Two. Um, does somebody somebody has to have him if he's scoring touchdowns or is he like a random player? I don't know if he's a random John or not because, to be honest, I never obviously I never heard of him before this night. I can look in the I'll look right now see if anyone in our league if anyone. In, if anyone's gonna have it, it's gonna be our league with sixteen people in our league. <laughs> what? Uh, speaking of tonight, what are we doing tonight? We're doing some shopping with Keegs. Uh, if there's anything good to buy, Lil Jordan Humphreys is actually free agent. <laughs> so who's gonna get him? Is the question. Lil Jordan Humphreys has never. <laughs> been done. I just keep cracking up at the name. <laughs> His biggest it? game is tonight. He's had seven before that. His picture just looks like it could – like it's a perfect picture for Lil' Jordan. Yeah. That was Beast, though. Do you think the Saints will make the playoffs this year? They are five and six. Probably. I mean, the yeah, they probably. There's one more game this year, so we shall see. Um <clears throat> I guess we'll give away some NFTs tonight. We'll do that. Maybe I'll make one again. Do you have any that you would like to have NFT'd? Uh, I have this picture of Shetty. I'll send you. It's pretty funny. <laughs> we'll get him while he's not here. It's him taking a photo of the of one of the basketball games. But he, the way he's sitting is so funny. I'm going to send uh, my boy Johnny Katani the URL here as well. Big Cat, if you want to hop on, uh, this is the best way to learn about crypto fast is hop on the hot seat. Yeah, I, just sent it. I just sent it to you in the stream team. <laughs> <laughs> the way you sit, it just so, it looks so funny. He looks like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you got the ref right there. And you got the ref who clearly <laughs> is in top-notch shape. 
that's, that's a middle funny. school game. If you, if you know, that's the classic middle school rap. Now, if this, I was going to say, what if when this NFT sells for a million, <laughs> for a million plus, is this ref going to be hitting me up for a, a cut of it? No, because I took the picture. He has nothing to do with it. <laughs> he had some bad calls, by the way. <laughs> he was a bad. Ch Ch Chetty's legs are hilarious. He <laughs> he was always doing like, he, is he still obsessed with stretching? Mm, not really. Remember he had he a stretching. He doesn't, really, he doesn't really lift like he used to. He kind of baby lifts because I guess he got a bad uh, hip or something. Bulking season is over. He just kind of stays bulked. <laughs> Hopefully he's not listening. I'm trying to think what to name this one. I think I got it. <laughs> Lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my uh, actually, this would be a doity, a doity connection for you. My buddy Johnny Katani, he might hop on stream with us here. He's looking to learn more about crypto and NFTs. And I was like, I guess similar to you, I don't, I don't know how much about NFTs you feel like you've learned since you first got on the show, but I feel like you've learned a lot. So, yeah, um, getting up here on stream is like the most streamlined way to. to uh, it. I see what you did there. <laughs> and uh, stream and streamline. I didn't think about that, Johnny. I sent you uh, not Poppy Seed. Katani. I called Poppy Seed by the way to see if he wanted to join us, and he did not answer. Yeah, he just. Um, I just had a call with. I don't know, a team that I feel like he would want to meet. He was supposed to be on it. Um, we're having – He didn't show up. He's surprised. <laughs> um, we're going to be having – so next Thursday, we'll be having Ross from uh, Crypto Girl on the stream with us. Who is that? That's the girl. Um, you remember – yeah, Ellie. Oh, yep. Ellie Gonzalez, yeah. She yep. has the Crypto Girl – project and so yeah ross that's who i just had a call with um they're gonna you know, he's gonna come on stream next week and he said he plays chess i was like oh sweet so we, we gotta have you and him play, play chess, chess live yeah that'd be, <laughs> that'd be sweet get people betting some nfts on it um I, I'll, that, i'm down for that bro <laughs> i love chess wait and you've only been playing for like a year right about no about two okay, and you're playing it online yeah like I'm, I remember I told you, right? I'm in the like 90th percentile. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. And that's, um, you've got me thinking now. I wrote down for my goals the other day. I think what I think I said by, by 2024. Yeah. I want to win six more championships in my life. And I don't even know what that would be. In my book, winning the NSSL title is as good. That's as good of a championship. Yeah, I mean, like, you're not going to win this year, but yeah, that's good. Because <laughs> the level of intensity is so high that in my book, it There's counts. a euphoric moment. No one else in the world will care. No, um, but we do. Exactly. No, it's a good feeling. I know what you're saying. <laughs> it's been a while for you. No, nah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it's like, obviously, you know this too because you're a basketball player, but. Like the other day, I was playing at the Y, and it's just the Y, but there's some ballers there, and I hit the game winner. You know, it's like there's not, there's no better feeling than winning the game and then you being the part of the person that does it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hit a nice three ball, like oh, it was nice, and I had lead, I had like the four points leading up to that too, because I was like, let me just. Oh, he three. was heating up. <laughs> I was, I was heating up. I was case trapping, and uh, yeah. it's so, it's the it's the can't tell me nothing feeling. Exactly. So when you do that, it's like, and, and that's the same. It's more, I would say, in strikers when you win that <laughs> against, <laughs> against a Carswell, bro. It's even better. That, that you're right. It is. <laughs> but uh, I'm looking at my stats right now. I'm in the 92nd. So uh, I'm in the 92nd percentile. So only 8% of players are better than me. <laughs> okay, dude, I got to, I got to send you, I got to show you this. Uh, oh, how do I find it? I got to still Scrody, though. You know what I mean? What? So, like, I'm in the 92nd percentile. My rank is almost 1,400. But, like, the best of the best are in the 2,500. So, I'm way off of them. But I'm way higher than a normal player. Do they do tournaments or anything? Oh, there's tournaments all the time. Like, in person, like online, everything. Championship type of stuff? Oh, yeah. There's chess, there's chess champions of the world and stuff. You trying to get in it? 
No, I'm I'm not good enough at all. Trying to get in on it. <laughs> I wish I could. These guys, I'm telling you, these guys are in the they're, they're ranked so high. What's the ultimate like? What's the ultimate noob first move in chess? Like a move in a pawn on like one of the right on like the one of the far ranks. On the outside or the in, or far left or far right? Yeah, like moving a pawn like that, or just like moving stupid things. You just you know, they just move. So moving a center pawn is probably normally the best first move. Yeah, you want to control the center if you can, especially when you're a beginner. Controlling the center is huge. And then okay, knowing that's something I would have never, I wouldn't even thought. Oh, you got to control like what part of the board you got to control type of well, thing. Well, when you get to like, so my a beginner doesn't know anything about openings at all. My level of chess. I know openings. I know how to counteract openings, I guess. And I know names of openings. So I can do, like, I have, I know openings off the top of my head I can do right now. You know what I mean? So I already know the moves I have to do. And I know if they make a move, I know what to do. So it's all about your knowledge as well, prerequisite knowledge. And then there's a point in the game where you don't have any more knowledge and you have to go on your own instinct. And that's where it's hard for people. I got to find this. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. So that's why when you have a beginner, they just make moves. They don't know what they're doing, but who's that? <laughs> I got to show you this thing, and I'm kind of pissed because I'm not able to get it the way I want it right now. But either way, I, I'll show it to you. So, um, And this is like, if any of the boys watch this, then whatever. I feel like they're not tuned in right now. This is um, – this is something that I've been working on for the Strikers tournament. Okay. And uh, this is just one sliver of other <laughs> – this doesn't make any sense to you right now. But once you see this, just know there's going to be more videos like this coming. But I'm okay. just wa – I'm waiting to receive them all before I share them all with the boys. But this is one that I was dying at the other day, and I got to share it with you. And anyone else who's tuned in right now, <laughs> you're probably not going to understand necessarily what this is. But – it's a little hype video for our friend group. Is it, and, uh, is it a person I know that's saying this or <laughs> no, no. It's a, I don't even know how to explain it other than just get ready. Uh, all right. Let me just make sure the volume's not too loud. All right, here we go. This is the King Fat Boy Papa Wesco, and welcome to the bodega with a 2021 NSSL Winter Classic is just around the corner. Hey, Commissioner Lineberger wants me to ask y'all a question. <laughs> Who from the Todd Squad is going to bring that title home this year? Is it going to be Rebro? Because <laughs> from what I hear, you need to cut the BS and man the fuck up. <laughs> Roni, maybe. I think I got my money on Davy Long John, but at the end of the day, it don't matter who takes it as long as everybody gets oity on them. Tell <laughs> a question: Is this really Super Mario Strikers from GameCube? Yo, I might need to get on this action. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe next time. At the end of the day, y'all have fun, and let me know who brings that title home. Got it? Good. Hey, that's good. I have a feeling I know what you're doing. Those are that's pretty good though. I don't know how to explain it other than <clears throat> there's some more of those coming. I'm just waiting on the different people to send them. Yeah. So you you give them a script and they say it, right? Yeah. They give you like you, you know you got 300 words to right. tell them whatever you got to say. That's a good. Oh, the Paul the Pally is it rebral? <laughs> what I know, you better man the fuck up. <laughs> Public shaming. <laughs> <laughs> no that's good all right so we got to get this we got to get this shite popping here um okay oh dope johnny katani's gonna hop on that's good is it rebral we need to do some giveaways how's that sound y'all make some noise in the comments you guys want some giveaways it ain't gonna be rebral <laughs> hey what's up with rebral hey yo fleensy where's fleensy where is Flea? Where is Flea? Quiet dude? night right now. Yeah, I am just trying to find. Where's the crypto writer chat? There it is. There it is. There it is. Hey, yo, Flea. Get it in the Discord too.
How's your mindful jaunts? Oh, I popped uh, I popped a couple of, at like five. Nice. Or uh, maybe like six. I was feeling doity on them for a while. I'm actually it's probably it's probably just like leveled back down to oif. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. That's good. Yeah, hey, okay. there we go. Subin wants some uh, free giveaways. It so was a beast experience. Learn anything? Um, Sometimes you do. Dude, you like, it, I don't know. If, it was weird. I, I guess I, to try to explain it would be weird, but I would think of a like part, a body part, finger, shoulder, elbow, arm. And when I would think of that spot, it would get warm. That, I feel like that actually is something that you can do with your mind. Kind of beast. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that. People can rise and lower their body temperatures by like somewhere between five to 10 degrees if they just focus on it enough. And the breathing. Breathing was cool. You know what I mean? Just breathing. Deeper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I never forget. BNZ was talking about you know his first time. He's like, I went outside and I took a deep breath of air and it was like, the best breath of air I ever had in my whole life. And I understand what he means now. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at this light in the corner. Uh -huh. I mean, you can't sit. So I looked at that light and I was like, damn, that's a nice light. You know what I mean? It was, just, <laughs> it, was just, it was just looking good. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think you, you do learn to appreciate just the little nuances a bit more than you normally would yeah. um, in general. I think it's something that kind of carries over from the experience into like just a daily life habit. Um, <clears throat> I heard a good one recently, like I'm looking at my desk here and someone is talking about how you can, again, how you can just find the beauty in anything like right. just even the little lines in this desk. Like there's did a wood there's desk or something? some, yeah, there's some kind of reason, purpose, meaning, whatever and you can just be like, Oh, that's just a desk. But if you like really focus on it, it's like, Oh, that's, kind of dope honestly yeah yeah, yeah. the intricacies <laughs> yeah so um i'm gonna start firing up this chatty oh, nft thank you, thank you, appreciate that my friend <laughs> nice i think he's talking about my room ah probably yours is better <laughs> no this is just a green screen key's got key's got the real thing i got the real thing behind me i'm not fake <laughs> What is behind you? Is it just the wall and you just put a green screen? Oh, on? yeah. Let me show you without the green screen. I mean, I know what a green screen looks like, but. Oh, um, yeah. If I have to move the camera, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, I don't do it. I just want. Is it just a wall? Um. Oh, did you see that? Well, this is. I saw the... that, yeah. And then I've got <laughs> I've got a cheese tray over here, actually. Nikki and I okay. made one. Okay. Earlier. Um some clothes that shouldn't be there okay uh a sink a fridge this, this is your house yeah this is like i guess you could say this is my office slash the man cave okay um but yeah i mean i don't like it's funny i got a fridge here i really don't even use it, it just happened to be here <laughs> so yeah. like all right leave it there um but yeah let me let me bang this nft out before i forget we got we got a a chetty kind of chetty nft coming up um it's not made by him but it is him <laughs> basically made by him. actually I, I don't think chetty's listening but well he might probably not six people watching chetty if you're listening let me know chetty but i got him a doity uh doity christmas present are you gonna talk about it on the stream? I, don't, I mean, I probably could. I don't think you'll watch it. <laughs> I did uh, post our last one that we did. I downloaded it and I posted it on the Crypto Rider YouTube. So wait, let me put it in the private chat. Sounds good. Hold on, what did I call this one again? General Moses Art. I just wrote it in there. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Uh, I'll write what, it in there. What city? What city, Keeks? 
Pittsburgh. Okay. All right. We're, Nikki and I are going to see a comedian in December. Hey, uh, there we go. That's what I like to see. There he is. <laughs> Yo, what up, dude? You got the you got the mic set up too now. Okay. Yeah. I see you. Dude, do you have that uh, camera, that vlogging camera that uh, Hunter put in? The this, yeah, the one that I use. Uh, I think it's the one he's talking about, the Sony Z ZV One. I never use it for vlogging, but it, right. you, can, you can tell it definitely is built for that. I'm gonna have to get on yeah. that. And my it's, like a, it's kind of pricey. Um, I mean, it's like a thousand bucks, but it's on sale right now. There like six eighty, but. Yeah. Anyway, what's up, guys? Hey, so Keeks, uh, this is Johnny Katani. Johnny. Uh, also, but I should say Big Cat. That that'll be his name here uh, in the in the crypto sphere. He's in it. he's in Raise Masters, which is the mastermind that Hunter and I run, and um, we got to meet for the first time in Austin in October. And I mean, I love everyone else in our group. Don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't know. I feel like, Keegs, you would definitely hit it off with this dude. <laughs> like, we you know, hit it know. off, for sure. <laughs> so <laughs> it, was, it was one of those moments, like, did we just become best friends? <laughs> dude, that picture from the racetrack is... It's a good one. It's good a good one. one. I'll have to show it to you. Maybe turn it into, maybe I have to turn that into an NFT, honestly. There you go. Dude. I'm, I'm going to do that. I will do that before we end the stream today. We'll make you know what? One of NFT. my... So I was just on this... Uh, like shark this like shark tank type thing but people pitch their real estate deals uh -huh. and i like posted it on instagram because i'm trying to like start prepping my instagram followers for when i start like my oh, podcast true. and stuff uh-huh and this guy was like you should turn it into a a dow a dao what did that what does that stand for just uh yeah i'm familiar like with decentralized uh... something I, I yeah, I'm familiar great. with like actually, you probably have some people in the comments. You guys, anyone here? Uh, if you if Dow is familiar, I know a little bit about what a Dow is, but not enough to really, I'd say, be dangerous. Did you do any research into it? Yeah, decentralized autonomous organization. Yeah, like there's people in Dow's basically, you know, creating like their own currency and stuff like that, uh, tokenizing it somehow. One of yeah, the, I just feel like that's kind of where the future is headed. Is this like tokenization type thing? Yeah, Dude, these like big name companies buying these properties in the metaverse is insane. It's What's like uh, lots. Yeah, what was the most recent transaction that caught your attention? I know Atari was like one of the first ones to do it. Yeah, well, some of these places are buying like you know four or five at a time for like a couple million. Really? Damn. Yeah. In uh, Decentraland. Like in the metaverse. Which one? I don't know. I just follow like a uh, account called the Metaverse on Instagram. Okay. Do do are they referring to like the one Facebook's building? Because they also mentioned that a, a a lot of them are being built or various. There's a uh, I I have some crypto in I have Sandbox, Decentraland, uh, Phantom. There's there's a couple other ones that I'm in. I, let me go look at my portfolio. Actually, they're all getting big right now. But Decentraland and Sandbox are the two biggest ones, really. But really, they all have their own, I guess, worlds. Worlds. Decentraland would be the one that I would know. And then in the in the wax, which we got to have that chat, Keeks. <laughs> in the wax space, um, Alien Worlds seems to be the biggest. Well, actually, I guess Alien Worlds wouldn't necessarily be a metaverse, but yeah. um, Immersus, Immersus. That's what I'm thinking of. That's like uh, the biggest one on wax. So, I M M. E R S Y S. I know there's some people like streaming it on Twitch and stuff now too. Um, we've had them on the show. We actually should probably get them back on. But that's you the big nut of Sandbox and what was the other one you said? Uh, there's uh, Sandbox, Decentraland. I think it's Phantom. Let me go look at my uh, what I got. Hey, Decentraland. young slutton in the house. Vic, I'm going to send you a link to hop on here if you want. It's up to you. And what was the one you said, Adam? Um. Emer Emersis or Emersis, I M M E R S Y S. We've had them on the show before. I mean, you're coming into the NFT space through us in the kind of like the sector that <clears throat> most people in NFTs just don't really know about. I'd say, well, Wax, you guys can let me know if 
if, if you know any better, but wax probably makes up about, dang it, my camera. Maybe you don't want this camera. It does overheat <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I've had it on all day. Oh, but, Blacktopia. Um, That's the other one I was thinking of. Blacktopia. B-L-O-K is their ticker sign, but Blacktopia is another big one. I'm going to shift to my janky camera here. Hold on. Just for now, until this other one cools off. <laughs> but uh, so Emersys is the biggest one in wax. I'd say wax probably makes up about, out of the entire NFT space, probably I'd say no more than 5% of it, but there's thousands of active users. So it just depends on like where you want to go to like first get started, get plugged in. Um, Ethereum, everything costs a lot more to create, to buy, whatever. Um, that's been like the cool thing about wax is we can just, we're going to make some NFTs here today on stream. It's going to take, you know, five minutes if I shut up and just do it. <laughs> no way. And, uh, All right. I'll shut up too then. <laughs> <laughs> I just know on like Ethereum, it's always, at least from what I understand, because I haven't tried minting or even really buying anything there, but, um, you know, it's a time consuming process and a more expensive one. So they have those gas fees, right? Too high, bro. Exactly. Exactly. That's what a lot of like, it's like the gas fees are the number one thing that I think most people don't realize or don't even think of what I was going to say. Well, no, what I'm saying is when people get into crypto, there's like two levels of crypto. You buy crypto just because you hear about it and you want it. And then there's people actually use it. When people actually start using crypto, they realize that Ethereum and these other bigger ones, even Bitcoin, they, their transactions are slow. They're too expensive and there's better alternatives. That's where you get into these other planes. Even wax, wax is also a little high with 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 gas fees there's other ones that are even lower but they're all trying to fix that and so it's really who is going to be the one that is the i guess becomes the number one is that like an automatic so are these gas fees like automatic as the price goes up that just automatically goes up or um, does no i'll give you an example <laughs> it's all about like how many people are using it at the time i was for the other day probably, probably about two months ago i was buying some uh, another crypto called hex and the way you do that is you got to convert ethereum did you get more hex <clears throat> I have some hex. I don't. I didn't get more, but okay. I had to convert Ethereum into hex. And in order to convert the Ethereum into hex, um, I was only converting like two hundred. Let's say it was three hundred fifty dollars of Ethereum, and it, it was going to cost me one hundred and thirty five dollars to do that. So it was like it was super expensive. And that was at the time of doing it. They say the best time to do is like a Sunday night when nobody's using it. But really, it shouldn't have to be anyway at all. I should, I should just be able to do it in two seconds with a very minimal fee, you know, a tenth of a cent. And that's what these other cryptos are doing. I'm, you know, like Chaz, my brother, Chaz and I, we're big into HBAR. And another one I'm into is Proton because they don't have huge fees. HBAR is like 0 0.001 of a cent and Proton has zero fees. So there's other cryptocurrencies that are doing it and they're doing it a fraction of the cost and they're doing it way faster. But Ethereum is the first one with NFTs. So in the, and a lot of other cryptocurrencies are based off of the Ethereum network. I think once they get to 2.0, it'll be, you know, it'll it'll help them out. But these other cryptocurrencies have just a lot really, really good technology. And so it's all about which one you want to be involved in, I guess. That That's exactly the situation is figuring out, you know, picking your poison, I guess, or not. My boy, Fred. Yo, Sean, what's up? All right. That's the, that's the boss checking in right there. The, okay. the founder of Crypto Writer. So, any if you got any questions or feedback here on stream today, Sean, or a way to spice it up, hit me up on Telegram. I'll promise I'll check my DMs here eventually. But um, yeah, back to Keek's point, or even maybe your point, Johnny, is like you just got to pick the directions you want to go and just go deep on them. And Keeks and uh, his brother Chetty been talking to me, I'd say a lot recently about other NFT platforms besides Wax, and it's like <clears throat> I'm actually insanely supportive of maybe them digging into it and diving deeper. But I know I've just I've spent so much time already here in the wax community and anyone that I know that has like helped me grow. They're all here. I know there's thousands of people here that are willing to buy. So um, I'm just going to keep going deeper on wax, knowing that there probably are some better options out there. Um, but the, the main thing is time. <laughs> like yeah. I, I, I've been inundated with wax since March and to just shift and go to another direction would be. It'd be a lot. Me, I'm not. I'm not big on it yet. So I could. I guess I could get up. And once, once one of your NFTs sells for a million, then you might be like, well, okay, yeah, that <laughs> won't be on the show anymore either. <laughs> you retired. You retired. That actually, that is our um our angle here on on Wax, Johnny. Is we are um NFTs for ultra high net worth collectors, Ooh. and the cool thing with that one liner is um it actually could grow 
beyond wax, but this is where we are for now. It so. sounds good. We just got to get the all ultra high investors now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the Dream 100 concept, which actually we, yeah, we talked absolutely. about that yesterday in Race Masters. All we need is one person. It yeah. doesn't have to be an, a famous person. Well, uh, eventually, I would love to do like a, a fund of funds and do like a crypto fund. The only thing with that that comes to mind for me instantly is like who's going to handle the legal stuff. But I know you, <laughs> we, I do have Who manages that. Like, how do you find like an operator where it's like, hey, this person knows for sure what they're talking, you know? Yeah. Although you're you're making me think, though, I'll have to introduce you to my buddy, um, Adam Locke, which Keegs, have you met Adam or seen him on like, Cloudfire Capital, any of the clubhouse sessions? I don't think you have. No. Poppy Seed and Schoeman and Bunzi, <laughs> they all know him. He runs a Bitcoin hedge fund out of out of Pittsburgh, where Keegs is oh, going. Um, oh, nice! If you want to meet him, Keegs, I can introduce I'm, you. Wow, well, next time I'm going, well, I don't know when I'm going next, but what I what I was telling you about is in March. But I'll probably be there again to see my sister. So yeah, I mean, let me know. Oh, is she living in Pittsburgh? She's, yeah, she's been there for almost, well, I'd say a year and a half. Okay, I knew she. I, I knew you like. There. I knew you went to go see her there. I didn't realize she was living there. Okay. Yeah, she has an apartment. A little bit north or south of the city. Yeah, actually, some big, big cat. I'll get used to calling you big cat over here. Um, when you get a chance, just shoot me a message so that way I can remember to introduce you to um, Adam from. So big cat, where, where do you live? I'm in Salt Lake City. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say he's coming from the mountains. You kind can. of actually is Salt Lake City technically mountains, or is it? It would be a valley, wouldn't it? The city is a valley, but it's considered high desert. We're at like 5,500 feet elevation. So, how many Mormons are there? Are you Mormon? I'm not Mormon. No, there he's are a lot of Mormon. Mormon. For sure. He has to go to bed in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> he's got That's curfew. Right. I have to read, but read my scriptures before bed every night. Take it to your 10 wives. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, dang it, I can't remember. I was going to say something else, but the Mormon joke threw me off. <laughs> Let me keep uh, focusing on minting. I've never heard stuff. a Mormon joke before. So original. <laughs> <laughs> I, my favorite thing, I don't know if you, um, Big Cat reminds me of, I, I listened to that pod, one of the podcasts from Barstool Sports, the uh, Pardon My Take, and the one guy. <laughs> I, know, I think I know you're going to say, go ahead. Yeah. But he, they always talk about soaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which i think is just so funny, that is so my, funny. maybe i'm missing that wait what is what does he remind I you i feel like it's like a secret thing they can't talk about because my cousin went to byu and i always ask him i used to always ask him about it yeah. like, that's not a thing was, was like, he right. so he's mormon you have mormon family i do yeah okay, yeah okay yeah no adam <laughs> big cat is a guy from barstool sports but he has a podcast so one of the most use uh sports podcast worth listen to yeah it's called uh pardon my take yeah oh, yeah yeah, right. yeah no uh yeah. no I know who, is, what, it's, it's uh the what kfc it guy is it kfc well or? that's a different guy but yeah okay is it called that pardon yeah. my take is what it is yeah i just listened to it yesterday <laughs> yeah they're funny they're funny guys they're hilarious it's just a really it's a different take on sports because they talk about sports but they say whatever they want yeah and it's great does, uh, Big Cat, do you know who uh, – uh, where is he now? I'm trying to find the link. Do you know who Lil Jordan uh, Humphrey is? No, Jordan Humphrey? Put it, no, I'll Lil put Jordan our, Humphrey. Lil put it in our private, no. in our private chat Humphrey here. Jordan Humphrey scored a touchdown today. Look in, the, look in the private chat and just click on that URL. He's like, did you know there's someone in the NFL named Lil Jordan? <laughs> Lil Jordan Humphreys. This, this is, is actually name. his government name. Click, click on that link. <laughs> I'm guessing. Oh, my gosh. It's time for our part in the take Twenty-five. He's the same size as – well, now he's a little – He ain't Lil. Bigger. Yeah, he, he is not Lil. Lil. Holy <laughs> cow. 23 years old. Okay, he's got some catches. Yeah, he's, he's caught some tonight. He got a touchdown, man. Lil Jordan got a touchdown. He got a little <laughs> Jordan touchdown from uh, Lil Taysom Hill. <laughs> little Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and his little Jordan, he caught a little Jordan ball and a little in his little Jordan hands. <laughs> Dude, uh, Keeks, have you ever seen the movie um, She's Out of Your League? Um, let me look at the cover. I think I have. There's there's a character. Actually, so there's just a, an actor in that movie. And I don't know. He's in other stuff. I've seen him before, but I, I can only think of him from that movie. And his, she's um, out of my league? She's out of... She's out of your league, I think is what it's called. 
Let me actually just figure out what this guy. Let's see. <laughs> She's out. Are of, you saying that that big cat looks like this guy, or? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> he definitely does not. Allow this <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that would what are you be trying to say about big cat. That'd be a little bit of an insult. What up, P P B D Y O? Who is that? Oh, is it P P? Uh, it's P P B D. Hey, P P B D has been around for a while. What's up? Little little Jordan caught a pass from P P B D. Oh, young Slutton's gonna hop on. That's good. <laughs> who's Subin? Said who is she? Who is she, who is who? Subin. Oh, because we were saying she's out of your league, so he wants to know who she is. Oh, she's um, out of all of our leagues. P P B D. Is this the guy? I think I found him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is the actor. I'll put it in the private and in the in the main chat. Who, so who do they look like? <clears throat> well, he doesn't look like John or Big Cat. Okay, <laughs> but he sounds like Big Cat. T.J. Miller. Oh yeah, yeah, I've gotten this before for sure. <laughs> you you guys have the same like voice. It's yeah, I've definitely voice. gotten this. I don't know who that is, so I don't. <laughs> I like him though. He was in. Uh, he's in a lot of stuff actually. Um, did you guys ever watch uh, uh, Silicon Valley? I think it was on like HBO. I think it's on HBO. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Big Cat. This he was laughing at the comments. <laughs> I'm a girl, by the way. Same. Sorry. I don't know. If, did I say he? Like a big cat's on same. <laughs> uh, so wait, what was the other show he was on? Uh, it's called Silicon Valley. It's a show on like... Uh, like an HBO. On one. HBO. It's a few years old, but it was a good one. I've heard of the show. So I'm watching football, so I'm going to be in and out. Yeah, I'm minting. I'm over here minting. That's the other thing, too, is like <clears throat> it took me a while to finally, I guess, just start minting assets. And now that I've got it a little bit down to a science, I just want to expand on that minting. What is that? What does that entail? Um, it's the process of putting the image or video, whatever it may be. Whatever that you want to turn into an NFT, it's the process of taking it from a file on your computer to like implanting it into the blockchain and then making it something you can also give away, sell, whatever. Um, our project, we only mint up to nine of each, which is very uncommon, honestly. Like a lot of projects will mint into the thousands. And that's the one thing I've noticed like since joining this space is like, I, I don't feel as important when I have even a number 1000 or a number 2000 of something. But if I know I've got one of nine things like from directly from the artist, from the source, like that's kind of dope. So that's been um, totally our, our angle is just to there's not, there's not a lot of low mint projects out there. And I feel like honestly, a little bit of it, unless you're making a project that is focused on being a game, which at this point ours is not. Um I think low mint is the way to go if you want to give off a vibe of high quality. Speaking but, of uh, games, Cosmos 11, I, I, you can start to stake your players now. On what? Just Cosmos 11. Oh, really? I just staked some of my guys yesterday. And you didn't tell me? I was going to tell you on stream, and here we are. <laughs> so, okay, actually, so Keegs brings up something important here, which is why I do have, have long-term faith in Wax. I'm not – at all saying it's going to be bigger than Ethereum or anything else, but just the platform itself, the blockchain itself, I have faith in the long run because most of the successful projects here are all driven by some type of like utility or game. Like the one that Keegs was just talking about is, a, I don't know really exactly how it's going to work yet because they haven't rolled it out yet, but it's a soccer game and you can stake your players and earn some type of currency simply just by holding them in your wallet. And there's a lot of other platforms out there that allow you to do it now. Alien Worlds that I mentioned earlier is like definitely one of the three biggest projects on Wax. They're so big that the in-game currency that people can make while playing Alien Worlds, you can trade that currency on Binance now. So you can, literally, you can literally go play Alien Worlds, which again is a Wax-based game. Um, go mining, whatever. I haven't played it, so I don't know the details. I've heard someone saying they were running for, for council on a planet in alien worlds the other day. So like there's planets and people are running for like leadership. Like this is like real wow. stuff and they're making money in there and you can go take that money and take it over to Binance. And next thing you know, it's Ethereum, Bitcoin, US 
DT, you could convert it to fiat, really. You know, it's only basically what I'm saying is you can play a game and it's only a few steps away from turning into US dollars. Let me ask you a question. Let me so give you that. What I'm staking, I'm staking it and it's creating DIM. What is DIM? That must be the in game currency? currency for Cosmos 11, which most creators, so like whoever's running the Cosmos 11 platform, because I know we were supposed to have someone on here the other day. I found out he's a part of their team there's like four other people or something but uh i'm sure that it's got to be their goal at some point to get their currency on alcor is another exchange that's kind of popular but that's more in the wax space that's uh, those are a little, for a lot of smaller crew i like i said i mentioned proton proton's also on alcor oh you knew proton or i'm sorry alcor that's right you did say yeah. you knew alcor this is all foreign language probably to big cat how would you explain alcor to him <laughs> well look at it think of it what exchange do you use for Excuse me for uh, crypto. Do you have any crypto right now? Kraken. Okay, so it's like Kraken, but a smaller version of Kraken. Okay. No, not what kind of drugs do you have? I know Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Release the Kraken. <laughs> so yeah, it's just um, a smaller. Sorry, version. go ahead, Keeks. I cut they you just off. have smaller, smaller exchanges. They have there's just not a lot of volume, so it's, it's harder to get a transaction across. Sometimes I had a I had an issue once with getting a transaction, but on Alcor. With Alcor, yeah, with between Proton and something else. Okay. But yeah, um, but it's just another exchange, basically. What's the reason that Alcor? Because it's interesting to me that you knew it before coming into Wax. Wax. I learned Proton, it. Proton goes off Alcor, and there's a thing called Proton Mint, which is what they use for their NFT service. And I was trading between Proton and Proton Mint, and it the transfer didn't go through because the the volume wasn't high enough, and I actually ended up losing a lot of proton mint because of it because the next day it had the price had gone up so i had lost of you know certain it. Money. but it's just because there wasn't a lot of people on there yeah i just realized so uh boone is in the house that's definitely someone in our community who like <clears throat> i'd be willing to bet that boone probably knows more about crypto and nfts than all three of us combined maybe not i know keegs would probably want to take him on, that well on my end so <laughs> <laughs> but I guess what I'm leading to is if if you have any questions here along the way, and Boone, I know you're probably super busy too, but um, that's someone who, at least in the comments, he can kind of give you some pretty solid feedback if I had to well, endorse anyone. Th does Boone know about Cosmos 11? I believe so, because he's tuning Boone, up to our Boone, stream. I just started staking my, uh, some of my cards, and I, long story short, I have like 1200 DIM that was over. That was just over one or two nights or whatever, but what can I do with this DIM? Good question. There you go. And actually, I, now you're talking. I got to remember, I got to go stake mine, Keegs, yeah. while you're trying to get ahead of me. My my staking rate is 68 DIM an hour. I don't have all my cards staked, but I have all the ones that are worth a lot more being staked. Um, but yeah, so I just need, I need answers. Cosmos 11, staking, login. Okay, I'm going to catch up to you here now. I should be minting these NFTs, but I got to... So this this game. Oh, uh, I could trade. That, yeah, I could trade DIM uh, for wax. You can trade it for Very wax. Cool. Oh, whoa! Very cool. You can trade uh, the the one from Cosmos Eleven for wax. DIM can be converted into wax. Okay, I'm guessing on Alcor. On Alcor, you're correct. Yep. All right, cool. I just staked mine. We'll have to actually. Maybe we could walk. I'd be willing to pay for like a pack too. From what I'm remembering, they're not too. How much is a pack of Cosmos Eleven? Um, I have a pack right now on me. I haven't opened it. It's probably worth like like twenty wax. Okay. I'll Thank I'll you buy it off you. Question. I appreciate that. I say I'll buy it off you to send it to Big Cat to have him open it. And... Uh, I I'm actually holding on to this one. Okay, Ben. Um, I'll go buy one and send it to him. That's the other. Actually, so this is an important thing, and this is what turned Keegs' brother Chetty off of Wax. I'm sure Chetty's going to come full circle at some point, but yeah, he jumped through a lot of hoops. Uh, like he bought, I don't know, he bought Ethereum or whatever on like a main, like a Kraken, and then he moved it over to I think KuCoin, um, and then he went he went to buy Wax on KuCoin. That's another exchange, and all the fees and everything that he ended up jumping through he's like dude i just spent this much and i got this much wax and i was like okay well i mean one maybe yeah. buy buy a little bit more in bulk next time uh two 
I can't remember what my second <laughs> recommendation <laughs> <for> was. <laughs> oh, actually, I remember now. Number two, I was like, you can just buy wax directly with your credit card. Um, which will probably still take from a fees perspective, still take probably close to the same amount, but at least it'll go straight to your wax wallet. You can just do it with a credit card. That's actually what I do. And then I was like the third option. I was like, dude, just make some NFTs and get rich and stop complaining about <laughs> 30 wax or whatever. So seriously, I'm going to, I'm going to do some, make some uh, of my dog. Everybody loves dogs. Okay. Well, Hey, we're, we're whitelisted and we're all about collaboration. So one, you're right. You can definitely, everybody loves dogs. And two, we can make the we can make the big cat collection on the shift. Ooh, uh, that would be sweet. Right? Okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you now. We're only listing your NFTs for expensive prices. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you've been warned. I love um, that. So uh, all of a sudden, like ten years later, I get some notification that one sold for like four million dollars. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> that's the vision, and that's and really we, the hey, man, Remember when you made those NFTs? The, we made the big cat collection. It's like, uh, yeah, like we just sold for four million. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what we're building towards. Um, I was telling Chetty and Keegs. I guess I'll kind of just say it publicly now. Like, <clears throat> it's good, but like I'm not trying to get rich tomorrow. And if we can, over the next three to five years, build a reputation of being the ultra high net worth collector brand then i'm cool with it so totally because there are buyers like that out there and the only reason and the only way that they're going to come and buy from you is if they know that you have a place to come and buy so here we are <laughs> the, shift. the shift the shift we got to get a shift me. plus logo actually someone can do that that's my request for the day i don't know if anyone out there is getting into web design or graphic design but if you could make a shift plus logo for this session, that'd be dope. That'd be sweet. Um, hey, Chetty. <laughs> Chetty, his brother, uh, we've known them like, our, I don't know, there's about 20 of us. We've I've known, known each other him forever because my brother. He's known him forever. <laughs> Chetty's <laughs> always been like, he's been the artistic one, the mechanical one. So anytime someone has like a brilliant idea that they know they don't have the brain power to do, it's always like, oh, we should do this. Hey, Chet, do you think you can? Uh, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just got this list of requests. That's so great. So what? Uh, Moon, um, Moon talking to you guys in the chat, by the way, too. I just realized. So how, this is going to be a very noob question, but how do I, from like, how do I play the game from Wax, like Cosmos and stuff? Oh, yeah, good question. So are you, by chance, on your desktop, are you logged into your Wax wallet right now? No, but I can yeah get your go to wallet.wax.io you can log in there and then we'll tell you what to do from there and i got some of these nfts i know i told you guys like a half hour ago or whatever that i was gonna do some giveaways and they're finally minted funny thing is i'm making it seem like it takes an hour to mint these which wait what's boone talking about <laughs> working, on, working on coding for a 10k project for for what Oh, I don't Have know. I, but, has Boone ever been on this with us? He's, no, he's an anonymous dude, kind of. Like, he's familiar enough in the Crypto Writer channel, in our channel, Atomic Kings. He's doing work with Mindful Meds. Like, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, the, Boone knows because I, I got screwed in that giveaway. <laughs> when, when, yeah. Keegs was pissed he didn't win the Mindful Meds giveaway there, uh, Boone. Um, um so yeah, big cat, it. big cat, hey, big cat know, knows about mindful meds too. I don't know if he got any product yet, but I did, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what happened was, Adam, nice, we had that you know, the giveaway you put the exclamation mark shift or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I did yeah. it, and then the same minute somebody else did it, and he ended up winning the mindful <laughs> meds. So, in our Discord channel, we kind of have a consistent. Thanks to Boone, actually, because somebody has to be available to give people to give winners the these NFTs, which Boone, honestly, man, at some point, I just got to go mint a bunch and give you a bunch for giveaways because you're doing a great job. But um, yeah, people can randomly win NFTs in our discord channel. And Boone's done all the coding and all that crazy stuff to make it happen. So. Boone, if you're still here, what do you think will happen to Polygon when Ethereum changes to 2.0? And also, do you like soul more than Polygon? Because I like Solana too. I like both of those things. I just want to know your opinion. You got to get a uh, Solana girl from Crypto Girl. Uh, she, she works, does she have all her stuff on Solana? Yeah. 
<laughs> Dang, I accidentally I clicked the button too many times. Oh well. Yeah, classic. That and that's actually the one thing about minting. I don't know if it's like this. I'm guessing it actually probably is like this on other platforms, but when you create or mint something, once it's there, it's there. You can't delete it. I think this is the beauty of the blockchain, but a little bit of a pain in the butt too. Bus boy. I like bus boy. All right. So these are, so if I, when I click on the, so I'm logged in now. So when I click on NFTs, these are all mine, right? Oh yeah. Your NFT uh, literally says your NFT. Inventory <laughs> right there at the top of the page. So this is the big jump though. You got to go from now you're logged into your wax wallet. I'd yeah. say from my experience, if you're going to be active in wax for now, unless something else comes along and changes it, you're going to spend about 80% of your time on atomichub.io. And you can actually get to Atomic Hub through that website that you're on right now, but it'll probably just be easier to type it in. If you click on D apps, which is decentralized apps, it's yeah. Atomic Hub is right on there. It is in there, yeah. Atomic Market. It's called Atomic Market. Yeah. Oh shoot, yeah, you're right. Atom it would say Atomic Market. It is. But it's Atomic Hub, but yeah, it's the Atomic Market. Okay. I'm here. So cool. you log in with your wax wallet on there. Yeah, top right corner, I think it'll probably say log. Oh, okay, in. got it. And then once you log in, um, once you log in, then you're you know you're basically kind of you're good to go, and we'll see you later, man. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. Hey guys, so he wants to get Cosmos eleven. So actually, let me let me. I'm actually going to so say. So what's cool about Wax and. Keeks, um, can you find out how much a pack costs right now? Just so that way yeah, I can. Uh, yeah. I'll send it over to Big Cat and he can buy I'll one. That while, I, while I explain. Uh, so what's cool about any of the games, though, is they have their own website, really. So this one is Cosmos 11. It has their own website, but you log in with your Wax wallet and you everything it is interconnected. So nothing you're not. You do something on there, it'll go back to your Atomic Hub. You know what I mean? So it's all kind of in that whole network, whole community. But. That's where I'm doing the staking stuff. But let me go back to the market and look for the Cosmos 11. Though. Interesting. It's a lot to kind of digest at first, but really, I like anything, more time you so spend. So some out. of these are like actual pictures or like car, like sports cards and stuff. It's not all like striker packs, 20 wax, 19 graphic wax. art. 19 everything's the lowest are 19 adam okay 19 nice someone's talking about subin's talking about striker packs okay yeah that's the striker pack is what i'm talking about because okay. you get a, a bunch of strikers and a medic in the striker pack and you get one tactic and then some of those are rare like for example there's different uh people oh. position players that you need and some of them are more rare than others and those are actually more they're higher in stake so like one of my stake players i think is worth like 11 dim an hour what's your uh what's your wax wallet address big cat do you know that's your name at the top right yeah do you want me to just put it in the private chat uh yeah, really yeah private chat. Private chat. Let's, have, let's have people send stuff to you yeah we'll we'll do that put it in the private chat but also put it in the main chat and anyone who's tuned in who wants to bless this rookie with some nfts you're going to be able to send it to this wallet once it is how do i yeah. comment in the regular comments uh you have to do it on private chat and then adam can put it out there. i think, I think oh oh is he not able to put it in the main comments i'll, I'll, I'll put it on the regular twitch i got it sweet okay i just realized that's, uh, that's a tough one there four b i i k dot you got two eyes four yeah. big Oh, you got in there, Adam? All right, cool. It's actually, that's not too hard to remember, four actually. Big. Four big. I feel like I, that's actually easy to remember. You can All see right, mine four. right up here next to my name. Nobody's ever sent me anything yet. Well, except for uh, Futures Relic. He sent me some stuff. No one ever sent you anything? Just Futures Relic. Oh, that's funny. I thought, I thought you were I thought you were our main influx of wax. I don't get anything. Nobody likes me. <laughs> so can we talk about Mindful Meds on here or – I was just uh, talking about I earlier. Think, actually. I, think so. I think it's cool. I mean, they are, they're becoming more and more a part of our community. 
Big Cat, I just popped a couple uh, about about 5 p.m. my time. Now it's 10 p.m. my time, but yeah, I popped a couple. Early so, early so I tried to perform yesterday, just one, and like didn't. Yeah. But I guess what I'm curious about is like I've hero dosed psilocybin. Right. So I guess I'm trying to like understand, and I and I guess you know like I just have to try it, but I'm trying to understand what a micro dose is supposed to feel like, you know. Sure. As opposed I, to like, you know, like obviously I know I'm not waiting for like the walls to start shifting and whatnot, but <laughs> yeah. But like, I mean, I'm I mean, happy to like dig in here, but hero hurt. doses and that's the stuff that can happen. So it was just <laughs> actually, like what I what I would like to actually rec uh, use as a way to describe it is I think Keegs would actually be the best one to kind of explain it because I I've also like macro dosed or hero dosed before. And I can, I can kind of see the difference, but I think for Keegs, like this is kind of the only version of it. Yeah, I've never macroed, but he would know. So I think your description would actually probably be best because, okay. yeah. What I will say though, the one didn't affect me either. I had to take two. Okay. But um, really, it was like, I guess you're more in touch with your senses. You know what I mean? Which I mean, I'm sure is the same in macro, but maybe it's to a larger scale. Um, I, I was telling that earlier. Really, I could, I could feel yeah. a little for yeah. sure, but I guess I'm trying to understand if like, which one did you use to perform? I think perform. that's what I have, right, Adam. Perform. Yeah, oh, you have, you have uh, modern. I, took it. I think, I think the main thing with with microdosing is it's the per. In my opinion, it's the perfect amount for you to go to actually go about your day you if you work. choose, and not have like I think if you hero dose, it's like all right, you might need to take the day off just oh, to kind sure. of digest everything. Um, but in this case, you can function quite normally. And that's what that's I think that is the beauty of of microdosing is you know, you take one a day, take a couple of days off. I mean, you might I, I do feel actually feel like that the days off that I take are also really great days too. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. That's how so, I mean, according to the guy, that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So like let's see, I took it no, I took it Tuesday. So tomorrow will be like I can try two tomorrow. Uh -huh. Yeah, according to the thing, and and I'll see how it goes for sure. I'm just curious. Uh, according to the thing, if the thing said that you could take ten, to 11 the, well, days, whatever that yeah. scale is, that, like recommended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The recommended dose. Whatever your that, like out. the Godfather of whatever they call that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Keegan yeah. and Keegan two, and two, Brett. Like what? for me today, I, I, I let's say it was five thirty. I went down and cooked some food. It was like. About six fifteen, it started kicking in, and then uh, I blasted probably till about eight thirty. I was say I bet it, that food was amazing. Food was great. The food was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was still, I I could like feel every bite. I could sense every bite better. You know what I mean? Have you like gone to the gym or worked out or anything? Any? I haven't stuff? worked out with it. I have not done it with it. I'd like to try that, um, but I have not done that yet. Yeah, they have a lot of studies showing for athletic performance or even just working out that it is very beneficial, similar to the Kratom, uh, also beneficial during a workout. I've been taking or that after. today. Yeah, I hooked Big Cat up with some of that too. <laughs> Keeks. <laughs> yeah. He I like that it. a lot. He's ready for Kratom Friday. <laughs> I should, I should, well, it's tomorrow. I might have to do it. Oh, it is tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Kratom Friday. I might do it tomorrow morning when I wake up before, before I go to work. <laughs> It's like uh, me and Keegs and, and the homies that are kind of in on this new wave of thinking, as I would like to put it. Um, we got a, a thread, a chat, and we, we always just joke and say, oh, it's Kratom Friday. <laughs> it would so, be yeah, interesting we'll, to try like a micro dose with Kratom and just like really see if you can open your mind like all the way up, you know, or at least relatively speaking. Have you done yeah. That? Yeah, I've had both um, at the same time. And I think that is like, the beauty of both are they're actually things that per, I mean, from my own experience, I feel as though they can actually benefit you greatly, not just in, in business, but in life. And it's not enough to make you have to like drop everything that you're doing. Like, that's totally. the biggest thing is like, <clears throat> there are things that you can do <laughs> that would have to make you drop everything that you're doing. And there's nothing wrong with those experiences either from my own journey. Like sometimes going, Boy froze on him. Do we lose him? I think so. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm able to sit in my chair for a couple hours. Yeah. With Kratom, and I normally cannot do that. Just focused. Which is really take, nice. Uh, how much did you take the half? Yeah, I'll do, I'll start with that, and then like uh, supplement just like a quarter. Yeah. Throughout the day, the maybe first like time I tried minutes. it, I tried a quarter, and I like I didn't feel anything at all. So. Yeah, he told me no. starting out to do half, so that's what I did, and so that's how I'll start. But I don't do it every day. Just no, you know, yeah. So you, yeah. Don't want to don't want to get too high of a tolerance. No, me neither. Yeah, I think it's cool. Like for even with the uh, mindful meds, I've only maybe once. I I would maybe three weeks ago I did it once, and then today I just did it. So I don't even do that every day or every you know I don't I just do it when I want to you know I, I don't have totally. to. Do it. But. Yeah, I want to play around with it a little bit and kind of see, you know, like what, like when would be the right time, you know, because I don't foresee me like wanting to do it all the time like you, oh. but, you know, like maybe if I wake up one day and have more anxiety than normal, right? Or like I'm more, you know, like maybe sad for some reason, you know, right? There he is. I'm, dude, I'm, I was like, right when I was, I felt like in my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm spitting the, the most powerful <laughs> stuff I've said all stream. It just cuts <laughs> off. <laughs> the universe we kept, like, we kept it going. Did, uh, what was the last thing that I was saying? I don't even remember. I don't even uh, remember. All right, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, long story thing. short, everyone yeah. here should visit mindfulmeds.io. And every Monday, if you join us on the shift from 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern, we do a giveaway at some point during the stream. Uh, normally middle or end. So, who is some guy? He just said hello. Some guy. <laughs> I'm like, man, love Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> um, some guy's been in been in the thread before. Yeah, I know, but I'm just asking who he is. I, I haven't gone. I have not had a heart to heart with some guy yet. So, some guy, okay. if you want to. Boone, did you see my question about Solana and Polygon? I asked what would happen to Polygon, or what will happen to Polygon when Ethereum changes to 2.0. DKR. I'm going to start dropping some NFTs. Oh, there you go. You ready? I'm going to drop them to Big Cat and Keegs first. Um, and actually, let I want Big Cat to get this one first, Keegs. So hold on before you go clicking. Oh, some guy's the one that took me out. That's why I know it. <laughs> the, one of the funniest things about <laughs> Keegs, we were joking with Keegs, like, you would get this stream up to a level, you know, we got like a million people watching one day, and Keegs will still be the person on st stream trying to win the giveaway from the fans. <laughs> <laughs> I like to win. But, Boone, I actually, I, I do agree with that. Um, it was, oh, it was, oh, okay. It was not some guy. Didn't that be me? But, uh, yeah, I'm actually excited for 2.0 just for to see what happens. But I also think. Once 2.0 hits, I don't know, because there's other projects that are also, if good, better, if, if not, you know, yeah, I guess better than Ethereum as well. So I don't know. It's just that Ethereum has its first, I guess, had its first dibs, and it's kind of everything started with that. So it's going to be hard to take something down like that. You see DKR said, me some guy. Me some guy. <laughs> DKR is, is, uh, is my boy. DK. Donkey Kong. All right. What was that game on GameCube with? Uh, the, it was a, it was Donkey Kong, but we all, they had guns. It was I think it was on. Game. I think you're talking about sixty four. Uh, yeah, that that was that was the song. That's why I was singing that. Yeah, but what what was that game though? That that game was sweet. Uh, I think it was called Donkey Kong sixty four. <laughs> no, but they were that that Which was one? it. The, 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 where the, you were in a uh, room, it was like multiplayer game. You each had you had guns, and you were each, like Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong was in there, and you had guns. Oh, you had guns. oh you know, we're, we're like talking Adam about mode. Mario Party. No, it wasn't Mario Party. It was like a, a literal Donkey Kong game. I know exactly oh. what you're talking about. It's it's from Donkey Kong 64, and that was like the battle game okay. mode of it. And I'm actually gonna. We gotta find that, that game. Yeah. I remember playing that for a, a lot. Yeah, that was that was actually for a game that the main focus of the game was actually the adventure mode. That was actually a really good, uh, like, battle, a good side game. Like, it wasn't the main reason people would buy the game, but right. it was really good. Boone's out here spitting facts in the chats. <laughs> Boone, keep it going. Keep the facts going. <laughs> Keegs, I'm going to blow your mind here in a second. What? 
Um, let's see. You got the Share game. screen. Yep. Come on. There we go. This is it. Yes, there it is. <laughs> dude, that uh, game—it was so fun, dude. Oh, I remember this game. Uh, it was the, it was the best. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Should we? It'd be funny if we started a, a also a video game streaming channel where all we did was just stream other people playing. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I feel like people actually probably do that. So, uh, uh, what do you what do I what do you call it? Um, speed up the. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Yeah, they pick up their ammo and they pick up a gun. And they just yes, shoot. I do remember this game actually. Yep. It was it was it's one of the one of the best games on sixty four. This is probably what led to Mario Party. I think Mario Party was out. I think it was already out. Oh, was it? It may, it may yeah. have been. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's post sixty four, so I don't know what was first, but I definitely remember the graphics. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, not bad though. No, <laughs> it but looks that, like a oh, it looks so like sweet. a game on wax. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to the roots. Oh, I forgot you could like warp from spot to. All of the weapons still hurt you the same. Like uh, Tiny Kong, she shoots feathers, but somehow they hurt you just as much as a cannon. Wait, so uh, what's this game? What was it called? Oh, wow. D this is DK64, and this was like the multiplayer mode. DK64, yeah. Dude, I, I think I might have to go get this because we have a 64 in our basement right now. I mean, Chaz. Dude, yeah. dude, that's awesome. I feel like you could probably get it on – um. well, actually, no, I was going to say on Switch, but you can, you can get uh, the regular and Super Nintendo stuff on – uh, switch. <clears throat> um, have now it's crazy that we accept VS games as game changing on wax. That is. <laughs> wait, wait, I got to see. What did he say? He's just talking about wax and their games and stuff. <laughs> but honestly, I think. Well, I mean, I guess I guess uh, Fortnite kind of did it first with their in-game V bucks or whatever. It's almost you could think of it as like a different currency, but they. They made a lot of money on those V bucks. Was um, weren't you asking me about the V V bucks or something? No, I don't know. big cat. No, oh, no. Yeah. Uh oh, was that V the V app? Maybe oh, that's, that's a different works. exchange for uh for NFTs or not exchange. It's a different platform. Yeah. I'm still trying to get in on a drop. I literally thought I timed one the other day and I hit buy and then it was like, oh, trying to get one. And then it's oh, yeah. sold out. I was like, what? But my buddy's all about it. He's big on like NFT. He's big on the, the V friends. He's all about those. It was like the Gary V friends. Yeah. Well, he created like a whole bunch of NFTs on the Ethereum network. And you like buy them, and then they're selling for like ridiculous amounts. Like they, got they go to auction, and then he gets a piece of every. He, I mean, dude's a genius. He gets a piece of every sale, every transaction. He gets a piece of it. That's good. So, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of projects like that. Like uh, Crypto Girls doing something like that too. Yeah, or this like Board Apes thing. Yep. Seems to be blown up like all the apps. Like, yeah, Steph Curry bought bought one. It was a big deal. I know that. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is funny. Those are the projects that, from what I've seen, the only utility to it is what what you're talking about, which is like the derivatives, and you can kind of like, all right, if somebody owns one, then you can kind of like leverage the one that they own to make like more versions of it off of it. Um. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but yeah, it's an, it's an interesting concept because it feels like in the beginning right now it's got that sort of like oh nobody has these kinds of things but eventually it's just going to be like with no utility it almost feels like you're just like okay so now what whereas something like wax where it has all this utility and there's all these things it's like okay th this makes sense now that's what that's the way i feel like the all the staking stuff is like you can you feel like when you buy something, it can do something for you, and you can go play the game with it. Um, the only oh shoot, I'm like I'm like watching DK64 over here. Some reason it kicked me out. I clicked the wrong button or whatever. But um, I think that's the main challenge with Wax is a lot of, a lot of the games and gameplay and stuff is still pr uh, primitive, but it will change. 
Yeah. What's the most high tech game on wax, guys? Would it be Alien Worlds? Let us know in the comments. Let us know. Did you um oh also Did you give private... me yeah go to the private chat and click on one of those links and then uh, click on the second one because I clicked on the first one. Has <laughs> Keegs yanked the first one, so click on the second one. <laughs> You click on the second one, and then you probably oh just got to Oh, my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. Did you see the uh, the one I did with Chetty? Um, Key uh, with the leg fold? No. Did you send it to me? I did not send. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys both one of these in the – What did you name it? I got. I just got to wait for you to click All on right. it. <laughs> Put it. So I'm putting two more in the private chat. Uh, whoever wants the first one can go Whoa, grab it. Sing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Ooh. What happened? Look at the leg fold. <laughs> All right, so the last two ones I put in the private chat are for you guys. Yeah, click on the second one again because I clicked on the first one. Look <laughs> at that leg fold. You got to zoom in on it. Oh yeah. Are you, what is this? <laughs> That's my it's brother. A, it's his brother taking pictures at a. <laughs> he, ta he takes he does videos uh, and photos for the school that we work at, okay, or the school district. And so I just took a picture of him taking a picture because the way he was sitting was so funny. And he just <laughs> it's all it is. Look at the leg fold. Is this yours or did you? Didn't ask, didn't offer for me to claim it. Make an offer. Oh, Clay, maybe Click the other one. one. Click on the second one, probably. Oh, we're popping off on. Oh, uh, there it is. Got it. Twitter right now, Keegs. We're doing a giveaway. Oh yeah. For give uh, me the Twitter link because I don't have a Twitter, so I just want to see. Or sorry, say it one more time. I don't have a Twitter, so just send me the Twitter link. I can see it. Yeah, let me find the main link. Dub Wizard, who's a friend of ours. Actually, he might be in the chat here too. I know he pops in every now and then. He runs an epic Twitter page where he does NFT giveaways. And that's how like you'll see on Twitter I've got, I don't know, 1,500 followers or something like that. Yeah. And anytime, anytime I do a giveaway with Dub Wizard, followers go up at least like two, 300. He's... Uh, a generous man and people love free stuff and so now it's cool to finally do a giveaway with like actually one of our nfts because in the past we've just done it with like people who've been guests on the shows and the nfts that they give us so once i'm done throwing a, a thumbs up or a like at all of these comments then i'll send you the main link shout out to dub wizard i feel bad i, I see he actually put this tweet up like almost a day ago and i haven't interacted with it until now he's probably wondering like what are you doing Oh, thanks, Boone, because Adam's slow. So thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, dude, did Boone get it? Nice. Thank you, Boone, so much. Boone, you're like, if you want to just, if we, we got to get you uh, the backstage pass for the stream so you can kind of hop on here like Sarav used to do and just fill in the gaps where clearly so I'm at. Dub Wizard is the guy that you had put this up? Yes, that is correct. And... What is this? I got mentioned in a tweet by someone who's verified. That's kind of cool. What is this? Uh, I'm going to share this and have Boone do some digging on it. So General Moses, that is the... That's you, obviously, but that's the main Shift Army Twitter. Oh, wait. No, I didn't get mentioned by someone. Oh, cool. Thought. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> what, was the, <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> this general, your Twitter is the main shift army Twitter. Twitter. It, it yeah, it is for now. I mean, I would love to get honestly, would love to get you, Big Cat, Chetty, everyone from our community popping on Twitter because I see you shouted me out. I appreciate that. Oh, did you get a shout out in this thing? No, you shouted Dude, me I out. Need, for I'm, I'm going to download Twitter again right now. I need to get back on it. That's where all the. I feel oh, like LinkedIn, you shouted me out from the book. Oh, through. yes, 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 yes. But uh, I saw it on Twitter, though. I don't, yeah, I don't have Twitter either, Big Cat. I probably won't get one, even though Adam keeps, he wants me to. I probably won't. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. That's just who I am.
Oh, so you were giving away a bunch on here. Okay. Let me see. I got to check my Twitter followers here. I didn't even realize he did that. Okay, so we're closing in on 1,600. That's nice. That's doity. Yeah. So I like I your do... location, your mind. <sighs> location, your mind. Your mind is your location. That's what you put. You oh, guys, the Memphis, yeah. Memphis right. Grizzlies just beat OKC by 73 points. Dang. <laughs> wow. We got a uh... <laughs> – I love that his light is so bright that you have no idea who that is. <laughs> That's amazing. That's Juicy captain. Screen. That's the what the best. heck? That's my computer screen. Why is your bright so light? Your light right, so hang on. Bright. I got to go refill my water. Okay. Let me try turning on the actual lights in the room real quick. Do you know who that is, Keeks? That's Vic. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy Captain making his debut on the shift. Juicy plus. Captain. Hey, King Ordonez. <laughs> With the headphones. Got the hey, Ordonez. Que pasa? Hey, look, Boone, Boone got some new followers on that tweet, too. That's nice. Awesome. Good job, Boone. Boney. Juicy Captain, you got to make a Twitter. I used to have one, but I deleted it. But <laughs> I do need. Uh, oh, Dub Wizard has almost 20K followers. Delve a little more into the social media world. Yeah. I mean, if you start hanging out here more, then it'll come naturally. You don't have to give in. I'm not giving in, Vic. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Ke <laughs> Keegs could be like, yeah, that might be your thing is just to have a hashtag. You're like Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's why I love Kawhi still so much. Is uh, he said something like, after he retires, he's like, "You're never going to hear from me again." <laughs> 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 he has no Instagram, no Twitter, nothing. That's just savage. I need to look at my uh, LinkedIn more because you would put me in a couple different things here. Yeah, because well, you were talking about NFTs and in, in uh, real estate, and I don't not personally know like a whole lot about it, but I know a lot of people that are in that. Motion is my homie or Mo Motion. Yeah, hit him up. Hit him up. You know, that, that. that whole idea of the blockchain real estate is is awesome. That's where you so and the big big. collab. Are you talking sweet. about that Neil Bawa uh episode? No, you guys hear him talking about it? Is Neil talking about stuff publicly right now? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I, I think that's uh, just genius. He was on his own. I think doesn't he have? Isn't he the one that has the fifteen minute? No, he was on this guy's podcast. It's called like uh, Real Estate Espresso or Oh yes, Victor Minash. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been on that show. <laughs> nice. That's a, that's a great show. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like fifteen minutes every day. Yeah, I uh, I could try and get you on it if you want. Yeah, once I have my ebook and everything done, I'm. I just. Uh, You're gonna go on tour. Signed it officially, question, and I have my. I just put the deposit down for the web developer, so we're balls rolling. Awesome! You just reminded me. My goal me. is to have everything dialed by the time we get to LA, and even have a few episodes of the podcast out, so I have some credibility. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna crush it. Um, because that is you've decided that's what you're gonna do, right? The kind of just build your brand. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and I'm nice. just literally gonna take Hunter's approach and copy everything, just make it my own. So that's what you got to do. Yeah, or relatively, like you know, that's that's like what we <laughs> try to. Not everyone gets it. <laughs> so we try to get everyone is like, just follow the playbook. You can do your own thing, kind of, you know, tweak it here and there. But, like, this is what works. So. Well, the thing that helps is I'm basically starting from scratch, right? So it's, like, a lot of people I feel like are so tied to what they've already built. Whereas for me, I haven't really built anything. So it's easy to just be like, okay, I'll do That's it this true. way. That's very true. So I'll put this in the private chat, too. Keegs and uh, Big Cat, I feel like you guys would be a good fit. Um, Courtney who's my, well, she's my assistant and podcast mentee. She's getting ready to launch her own show and she needs guests right now. I'll, I'll so, be a guest. I don't know what I would be able to do, but I, just being yourself, just being okay. keys. Like, what, what's you, her premise to her podcast? Uh, her thing is, so it's called TGIF with Courtney. And the focus of the show is to interview, uh, really just interview successful people and kind of pick their brain on what is it that they look forward to when they head into their weekends. When they head into their weekends? Yeah, like what do you – thank God it's Friday. Ooh, 
dude. That's yeah, talk awesome. To me, talk okay. To me every weekend. Yeah. Um, I'm here for that. So I just got to pick one of those <clears throat> times, and then I just yeah. Just send me a link. And if you could, if you could take, I know like she's got one on New Year's Eve. I'm about and, to like, click that one. <laughs> I'd say do it because uh, I know that the New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve will be the hardest ones for her to book. But okay. I was okay. like, are, I was like, are you sure you want to do it on these days? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that is a tough one. <laughs> That is so. a tough one. I mean, I, I think I'll be all right. It's only for a half hour anyway. I might so. wait till like Jan. I'm trying to decide if I want to wait till I have all my stuff in place or I just want to jump on. This is just, I th I'd say this one's one. Just It's going to be more get on there and kind of just talk about your, again, your weekend and your story. I wouldn't worry about anything. This is a good like practice one, basically. How so. long is it? 30 minutes? Yeah, 20, no more than 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Do Christmas Eve, maybe. Yeah, and we're repurposing them like, at some point, I want her to go and kind of create I'm, her I'm own. Excited. Christmas Eve, I'll take. Yeah, there's two slots on Christmas Eve, so I'll take twelve. If you want to take twelve thirty, or Donia's. I know you're out there. If you're looking to make a podcast appearance too, you can take this link. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone else in the comments is super chatty. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to just, yeah, Christmas. I'm trying to decide how. Oh, this will be ten thirty. Oh, oh, this will be afternoon. All right, yeah, I'm into it. Nice. Juicy Captain, what's going Yo. on in, in Sluttonville? <laughs> Just trying to get this internet to work, man. Okay. Right look in the middle of Bloom um, for some context, Big Cat, uh, for both of you guys, actually. So my bro this is my brother's college roommate. Um, also played a year of college hoops with this guy. And, uh, yeah, so we obviously went to the same college. And then um, Big Cat – I know him through Raise Masters, the mastermind with Hunter. And he's like, again, I think I said this earlier. I love like everyone in our group. Austin was awesome hanging out with everyone. You know it, <laughs> Big Cat. But like, I don't know, me and this dude, we just clicked. So he's a member, but also a homie. <laughs> love it. And he's yeah. oh, and he's getting in on um he's getting in on mindful meds and and uh Kratom. So I don't know if you got your order through yet, Juicy Captain, but I know you're looking to kind of dive into the universe a little bit too so yeah i am uh, <laughs> i need to i need to re reach back out there and uh follow up with them follow up a little bit but it's official i'm on there for the uh, 12 o'clock on the 24th nice <laughs> dude thank you honestly i feel like those were going to be the days that i'm, I'm looking forward to it to be honest you know being the, you got to wear like a, a santa hat or something <laughs> where is she from uh She's based out of like the Chicago area. Okay. Yeah. I have an old Bears uh, starter thing my grandpa had. <laughs> I might wear that. That would be funny. Um, everybody in the comments, are you ready? I think I'm gonna drop another NFT here. Let's see. Should I do the one with Big Cat or the one with Jetty? <laughs> Uh, some guy. I actually like to work more on the weekends. So I work in a school, but on the weekends I work outside because I just like to work. I feel you on that. There we go. I had a meeting with uh, JD today, Keeks, and uh, I actually yeah. got a. He's like, dude, like in in essence, he was basically like, dude, you don't stop working. Like, please take a couple days to just unplug from everything. And then come talk to me. I'm like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> well, I mean, so, like for me, I got, I guess I have one day where I'm not working. I just, it's Sundays and I just watch football right now, but you know, but even when there's no football though, it's like, what else am I going to do? I might as well work, make some money. So I don't know. It's probably because I don't have a girlfriend or anything right now either. So it makes it easy. Could be. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Boone, Boone wants to know what's stopping anyone from working. It's a good question. Maybe eating. Uh, Tony Pollard just knocked off a huge run. I do like food. I do usually pause, except today I actually just sat and ate while I kept working. So that does happen. I try, dude. That's actually a really good point. I try to stop and just like have a separate eating session. Totally separate <laughs> work day. That's very rarely happens, I'll be honest. I know. So, Wait, so Adam, how do I hit up this guy, Mosin? Um, I would connect with him on LinkedIn or 
Uh, let me if I can pull mine up here real quick. Let me just send him a message or something. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, that. you're gonna have to connect with him, I think, before you send a message. So let me do like oh. a joint. Okay. Should I connect with him right now? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Send him one. Right. Dang it. <laughs> hey, can you give me on a podcast? On <laughs> can you give me on one of those podcasts, Adam? Uh, sorry, hold on. Um, Where they just tell me everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good night, uh, John and Zach. I just, I uh, that, right? Oh, no, yes. Buenas noches. Mosin and Kenneth. Because I think that'd be just cool because. Like I, I remember telling you, like I have, I have. I'll, capital. Put, I'll put Big Cat in here too, honestly. What is yeah. this? You're getting looped into a LinkedIn thread about NFTs and real estate. Okay. Well, not even NFT. Uh, yeah, I'm just really like buying a house on a blockchain would be sweet. Oh, a huge thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that, that you, actually a couple people. So let's let's just put into example, and I was now use we just use Ethereum because that's everyone knows it. So let's say I I want to sell my house. And I put it up on the blockchain, and we could. It, it would. It would be an NFT. You make it an NFT. Your house is now an NFT, and you sell your house to somebody else, and they just basically they give you that they you put it up for a certain amount of Ethereum or whatever, and they buy it in that Ethereum, and then you just make the transfer that way. And in the way with the blockchain with the NFT, it would see all the things like how much you owe on it, how much was paid already, that kind of stuff toward the bank, and so like. We're using the blockchain with the NFT. It would show how much they owe still. It's I don't know. I, I'm I'm not explaining it very well, but it your house essentially could be an NFT that you could sell, and then obviously you just would be like selling a house with a real estate agent, but you have it all recorded on the blockchain. I don't know. Yeah, it's. I mean, there's a lot of things that I think are basically inevitable with blockchain and real estate. It's honestly like one an industry that could use the blockchain tremendously. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's just going to take a while. I know. I feel like it's one of those things like uh, not that it's behind in the times, but it's need, it needs to advance with technology. And it's it's definitely like one of the slowest moving yeah. uh, sectors out hey, there. Hey, buddies. Or what was that? You. Hey, buddies. What's up? Oh, yeah, your buddies. You're my What's buddies. Up, Sam. <laughs> Oh, what'd you say? Uh, I was like, I was thinking about doing like a long, elaborate intro. I'm like, let me just do a quick one to get everyone connected here. Juicy Captain, you're, you're, I'm sorry, you're getting left out of everything right now. I'm sorry. No, you're uh, good. I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm too new to the space to really actually the uh, NFT conversation or anything. But. Yeah. Well, Juicy Captain um, is going to have a phone call with Logan Freeman soon, Big Cat, to see if he can maybe work on his team. So there's no that. way. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Logan is uh unofficially one of my mentors because I talk to him probably three times a week. Oh, uh, wow, nice. I talked to him two days ago. Yeah, he's he's awesome. Super dialed. The man is that's what I that's what I really love about everyone in Raise Masters, is there's no like BS. You know, like of course we all have fun and you know, like to have a good time, but when you have a conversation with someone, it's like, boom, this is what we're here to talk about. We talk about it. Sweet. See you next time. <laughs> Dude, nice. That's exactly exactly my style. Cause you know, like there's certain people, like obviously you and I, you know, like get to know on a personal level, but other than that, you know, you're just there to network and see how you can help each other. You know, I don't need to know like all your kids' names and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it, yeah. yeah. No, that's, I was I was trying to get on this calendar and uh, oh yeah, good luck. Yeah, I was, it's like <laughs> two months out, so <laughs> it's, so I'm gonna talk to him. I think the first week of June or January. <laughs> He's booked out till June. What are you <laughs> applying for, or what are you going for? Uh, we don't quite know yet. That's what we're we're gonna discuss that. Um, okay. Together, because he pretty much said he had everything that I was interested in um booked up but um just to conversate <laughs> and see kind of where my interests are and uh, what kind of skills i have and <coughs> excuse me and go from there so nice what what's your are you trying to become like an active investor what's your goal uh 
maybe eventually right now, just kind of get into the real estate world and, you know, use him maybe as a mentor while I'm working there and totally um, build off that. So, I mean, if you have something to offer, then especially if you have time, if you can offer time, then that will always be extremely valuable to right. anyone. Even if yeah. you start just like, you know, doing mundane things. Honestly, if yeah, if you're looking for a long term play, Vic, maybe you could figure out how you can intern for Big Cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to work for free for a while, right. <laughs> you can follow along the journey. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, the sweat right. equity, the learning is, experience. Yes. So, the, and the, and the sweat equity is the is the move that I've seen most worth it for anyone that can't pay someone. But it's like you know, if if Big Cat's gonna go take down a few deals and you get a percentage of it just for doing whatever you're doing to help then that's where another it's like, huge way to get into the space too is if you know investors or can gather investors if you can bring money to a deal people will always <laughs> listen to you and take you seriously right or bring a talks. deal if Sorry. you know how to underwrite and like understand what a good deal looks like that's another real easy way uh to get in quickly and have people listen to you i think though you're right about okay. the underwriting yeah, if you can <clears throat> if you can show someone like a good deal, like hey, I've done the underwriting, you know, like even at a basic level, they'll listen to you for sure. You'll have, yeah, you'll have some leverage in that conversation. Right. So okay. I feel I'm, I'm yeah, Vic. We gotta we gotta talk about. I don't know why I didn't really think about that till now, but I feel like that could actually probably be more of your your thing. Unless I don't know, do you see yourself as like a sales guy, like investor relations? I mean, I, I definitely could do it. I've done it before, obviously, with like the relations part. Yeah, um, I've been in sales for or that's was true. For a couple of years at Sherwood Williams. While, yeah. so, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of, I think I work better a little bit behind, more behind the scenes, like the underwriting side and stuff, possibly. So, yeah, because um, Vic's like very uh, stoic. Like he's probably the quietest in a way, the quietest person I know, but it's not like he's shy. He just, <laughs> the I nice just thing about the sales though, is that you're not really like selling something to where it's like the, the value is in you. Right. So it's right. because you're helping someone make more money, you know, it's not like, Hey, here, buy my service, you know, so we clean your house. It's like, no, we're going to help you build wealth, you know? So right. it's a little different sale. It's more like making a friend than like actually selling something for, you know, you have to like show why you're partners, valuable. Essentially. Yeah, exactly. So. Which is a weird concept. <laughs> right. If you ever try to make friends in a crowded room, you realize like, oh, wow, this is actually like kind of difficult. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, just, that, Keeks, so. I just realized we gotta um we gotta get these guys going on hacks ball. We do. Uh, yeah, what I've never it? played hacks. Oh, ball. I never uh, even think about that as I jump. By the way, like, Vic, we're playing yeah. each other this week in fantasy, and it's there's a lot of stuff on the line here. I uh, know. I'm off to a tough start. I actually haven't pulled up right now. I, I haven't looked. What's going on? Who I, have have a whole, I have a whole three and a half points, and oh, it is what the end of the third quarter. End of the third quarter. Yeah, I have Traquan Smith. So oh, okay, you're up. I actually dropped him a couple weeks ago. I was in. Uh, like, I, dude, I've been yeah. hit by so many injuries. I had to pick him up because I had no wide receivers. They're all on bye week or yeah. out on injury. So oh, I just realized Reddish is here. I'm sorry. What's up, Reddish? Uh, What's up, Reddish. And also, <laughs> King, I'm going to crack up if if we pull up this hacks ball thing and all of a sudden Rohit's pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> Wait, he is will, it, uh, bro. Is it another wax game? No, this is just a. This would be. This, this needs to be on wax somehow. <laughs> I think it would be cool if it was. Yeah, this is the this is the number one game we play on stream here, and uh, I'll uh, I'll send you the link here in a second. I'm gonna put it in the private chat, and then also in the main one. But all you need is your keyboard and W A S D, or just the control pad in the space bar or the directional arrows. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'll put this in the comments and then I'm going to get some, some water.
Yeah, stay hydrated. But yeah, I got like Calvin Ridley out. Yeah, because he's got his mental health issues, and then oh, same. Robert Robert Woods tore his ACL. Will oh, Fuller yeah. that sucked. Jacked up his finger. So. He's been jacked up for like freaking eight weeks, bro. Because I know that's that's uh, that's the risk you take with fantasy for sure. But yeah, it's been. Uh, I mean, my team's been doing well, even yeah. with that stuff. So I, I got uh, Dante Parker, who's been on IR too for the Dolphins. Like the Dolphins have no wide receivers, but except for what's his name, little Waddle dude or whatever. But right, is that link working for Hacksball? I don't know. Yeah. I'm oh, not fantasy. So. Big Cat, we had someone like two weeks ago join uh, Ray's Masters who used to play in the NFL. Really? Yep, so Logan, Logan's not the only one now. Can you not say his name? Is he too high profile? Or oh, no, no, no. no he's, uh, now, now it sounds bad. Like, oh, no, he's not high profile. But no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, OBJ just joined. Yeah. <laughs> OBJ is in a race. Yo, speaking of, did you see that he got his whole contract and – He's gonna get that, paid in Bitcoin. That oh, was yeah? that was really yeah. smart. That was That's really smart. Hands. Yeah. That's sweet. I don't know how. I think it's something where the Rams basically send the money to Crypto.com and then they convert it to him. Dude, <laughs> That's insane. That Roets did just pop up. Did he really? I don't know how. So this Brazilian guy here, who's amazing at this game. That was All right, what do I do? He has not missed a stream. I don't know how. And and he'll he won't say much in the comments. He comments <laughs> more in the hacks ball commenting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's like tracking me. Is that how he knows? Is he tracking my IP? He knows, your, he knows the password though. So what is the uh is there a hacks ball password that I have to put in here? Yeah, nine. yeah not, number nine. Nine. All right. Maybe we'll do uh, – unless we can get – oh, okay, Juicy Captain's here. Okay. Um, hmm, I'm trying to make make it fair. <laughs> I uh, – Adam and Kings, you'll like uh, – I finally downloaded Telegram to the desktop. Oh, so. oh <laughs> hey. desktop Telegram is very beast. Uh, that's that's my, one of the best things ever. Yeah. Hey, you see uh, Rhodes' comment here on, on Twitch? Nothing I'm anti-social. Is that what he looks like? <laughs> Maybe the long hair. You got long hair. Long John. Oh snap! Ron Rono Ronolo is here. Ronolo, All right. There he is. You know what, Keegs? You know. Oh, we lost someone oh, who lost just dropped out. Ronaldo. All right. Oh, Ronolo dropped out. All right. Well, the way it works is. Well, you got to share. Man, I don't. I don't know if I can put you and Rhodes on the same team. I don't know about that. It's on different teams. Then put me with. Uh... Let's do. Can we do uh, U.S. versus foreigners? <laughs> the, the, the ping is crazy. I think that's Actually, good. it's not that bad in ping. That's not. That's not a bad matchup. I think that's good. One hundred and five. I think we do it. So, all right, uh, Big Cat and Juicy, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. That's what am so. I supposed to be ready? Face bar is face bar is kick, and uh, W A S D is how you move. Yep. Oh shoot! I just realized I didn't share my screen, so that everyone can watch. Sorry, hit it. Sorry, oh, let's do it. I'm like multitasking now. Share screen. This the rock. This the rock. There we go. All right. All right, we're good. There you got some guy. Oh, I feel like some guy has drop, definitely drop, played drop. this with before. Kicks it, and then you got to get in a good position, and then. Oh come on, come on! Yeah, yeah go, go, go! Oh. Oh. Oh yeah! Give me that! Give me that! Oh no! Uh -oh. There you go, some turnover. guy. Huge turnover. We're good. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Off is nuts. This is a fascinating game. <laughs> Instantly addicting. And it's like it's just it's built for high intensity. <laughs> like if you get this going. The turn of, oh, I forgot we were talking about turning it into like a like an actual season. Keys. Yeah, so I know. Cool, no. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get like, whip. So the ball doesn't like attach to so you. Have to just like no. You gotta you gotta place yourself in a good position to kick it the way you want to kick it. Got it. Okay. Where you want to, I guess. Like me kicking it that way. It that way. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, I might be in front of it. 
<laughs> nice try. Nice try, Keegs. I'm gonna cut. Oh, nope, got you. Yes. Nice. <laughs> a uh, skill play right there. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, oh, I have another one. Pick up, pass it over. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. Uh, yep, 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 yep. If we can just get it on the top, then Roets is gonna take over. Juicy, there you go, Juicy. <laughs> Boy, oh, Juicy. No, juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Get that out! Yeah, get it out of there! Get, kick it out of there! Yes! Oh, I'm coming up! Get out of my way, Brenson! Go 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 go! Oh. oh, we're good! We're good! We're good! Oh shiz! Freaking lag! Yeah, ping is 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 trouble. That ping! That ping! <laughs> Gotta get that ping up. We're down, oh. I guess. You want to down? Well, if I can go like all the way out of bounds, you just off the screen. Yeah, that's was nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, dang. Go, That's go, a goal. Go, 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 go. That's a yeah. goal. Dang. Okay. All right. I, I definitely thought we were just about to wipe you guys. So this is good. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what a poke. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go, Rhodes. Yeah, juicy. <laughs> My boy, Juicy. Let's go. Boy, Juicy. <laughs> oh, there we go. No, this we're could good. be some good we momentum. The back playing defense. Oh. Oh, big guy. Hit me oh, out. There we go. There we go. Wow. Let's go. Dude. Let's go. Yeah. Big guy with the assist. <laughs> there we, we go. We just wiped y'all. Three to back from a zero two. We got we to gotta bring it back, Roats. And some guy. Come on. Let's bring it back. Here we go. <laughs> Fantastic pass by Big Cat. Thank you. Not Mag. Oh, oh, I missed. I whipped it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh. <laughs> right after that perfect pass is a full whiff. <laughs> oh, a little, little back backwards. pass. Keep freaking lagging. <laughs> oh, oh. Part of that. Ooh. All right, we're still trying uh, to learn this concept here. That was a skillful play right there. There we go. Some guy, some guy, some guy. Oh, some guy is in Canada somewhere. Oh, that is not, that wasn't working out. There we go. Oh, let's go. Come on, let's put him in their place, some guy. Yeah, oh, no, what a fucking that bitch. thing. Juicy, juicy. I see you trying to kick it past me, juicy. There we go, big guy, get up there. Pass that boy. Get the between the oh, goal. Wow. Go, 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 wow. go, 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 go. That oh. was that was an impressive. That was for your first for your second game. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, if there was a little more uh, juice on it, but I never know hit. who's going to get it. You hit it as best you oh, 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 can. Oh, oh, to get the ball. The oh, old goal. juicy caption is a def didn't count. Juicy oh, caption. it did. Oh, it's first to three. All right, they wiped us up pretty good there. Yeah, but uh, we had a couple issues. We'll be all right. It's, it's, it actually, we're tough, tied up 1-1. It's 1-1. One, one. That's right. You want to uh, – I think we got to do this. We got to switch it up to the one. hockey one. <clears throat> oh, there's a, a little bit. one? It's, uh, it's the, the field is just kind of laid out a little bit different. You can go behind see. the goal. All right. Oh, so let's like do lacrosse. it. Let's oh, do it. Oh, 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 nice, nice start. Oh. Some guy ain't there. That's why. There he is. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> I had too much cheese earlier today, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, juicy. Ah, I tried to sneak it over top of you. Oh, nice little. Nice little bump. Uh, oh, that okay. Oh, here yeah. we go. Here we go. You got it, Rhodes. You got it, Rhodes. You got it, Rhodes. Rhodes so fast. <laughs> Rhodes has cheat codes on. Oh, oh. my. Woo. Uh oh. Oh, here wow. we go. Oh, wow. Cut him off, some guy. Dang, that's good. 
Oh man. Whew. That was easy money. Oh shit. Some guy's going to type again. <laughs> I was back. Oh, oh, some guy, thank you. Uh oh, there it is, juicy. Oh shit. No. Oh, oh, Ro, it's right there. Dude, Ro, it's is nice. <laughs> He literally all day just waits for the stream to start and then boom, hacks ball, let's go. <laughs> That's for Big Cat right there. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, come on. Juicy. Boy, Juicy. Boy, Juicy's <laughs> helping him out. Here we go. Here we go. Runs on. Oh, how did we oh, not oh, get that? <laughs> Rowitz? That is a little combination. Okay. Good oh, poke. No. Off his nuts. Right on me. I, I should have kicked it away. Wow. Oh, I thought that was game. No way. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what a Juicy bounce. Helped. What a bounce. What a bounce. Yeah, Juicy cat with a big save. Boy, Juicy. Saving the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a great, great uh, tag, Vic. Your NFT collector name, Juicy Captain. So great. Oh, I keep hitting it down. Oh, here we go. go. Uh oh, I know. That's, that's easy money for Keegs unless we can get between it. Okay, all right. My, my freaking thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Normally that would be easy money, but. Oh. What are you doing, Juicy? You need to see the space bar going off, too. It's a... <laughs> oh, Roitz, that's his spot. He said, feed me. Oh, oh Ooh, almost knocked that down through. They go around to you, Juicy. Oh, you're going to pull you it. You with the cutoff. Oh, I'm going around to a big cat. Oh, some guy in the way. Oh, what the heck? You guys are ganging up on me here. Oh, Roitz. Oh, Roitz. Oh, oh, he got it. Pass it over. Dude, that Keegs, if you oh. that was a nice shot, honestly. Thanks. You had to maneuver it a little bit. Whoa. There we go. Oh. All right. oh. Give me oh. a poke. Oh, oh, oh. he got it with the save. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, no. DC easy goal. Dang. Two one. Gosh, dude, it's finicky. Playing best of five. <laughs> Yeah, you got uh, big cats coming in on that that Salt Lake City connection. <laughs> yeah, he is. That one twelve ping. What the heck is this, big cat? Come on, seriously. <laughs> Do you see what some guy just said? What do you say? Is my girl gonna be panting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, worse. babe. It's just hex ball. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this hexball.com? <laughs> Who is I've Juicy been Captain? Your history. What is Hacksball? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll do another one. All right, here we go. So it's two. It's two one blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the mount. <laughs> Big cat. Ooh. Oh, get it. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah. I actually like the fact that some guy is playing so hard that he's panting. That's uh, pretty impressive. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going for it. The other person hit it. Uh, I want to say. Ooh. Yes, let's go. Run it. Thank you. Today, Kings. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh. Nice shot. Off DC. <laughs> Bounce, bounce. And we got here. Okay, cool. I have to sign off in like about 20 minutes. Oh, it's already 11? Yeah, Big Cat, this is your shot here. Oh. Woo. Get it. Get oh, my. Oh, my way. goodness. Here we go, Rowitz. Yo, oh, that not go we in. Did a review on that ref. I, Come oh, on. That was in. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. That's the counterplay. No, that's like shot. a – that was a Michael Jordan moment for Rowitz. That freaking video that's review. How did that not VAR. go in? 
Video assisted referee. <laughs> that what they call it in soccer? Yeah. Oh, big cat. Oh, there it is. Let's go. How are they getting bounces like that? Been lucky. Oh, I tried to pass it back to myself. Oh, great save, Juicy. Juicy, keep it going, baby. Juicy. Boy, juicy, I'm telling you. Good save. Oh, I shot that a little off. Dang it. Is Juicy captain the official goalie? Oh, he has been playing goalie, but doing a really good job at it. Oh, Juicy's now going on the offensive. Uh oh. No shot. An offensive juice. Juicy oh. passing, boy. Nice. Uh oh. There we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Let's go. Dude, that's like the second that's a team time effort right there. We all got touches on that one. Yeah, we did. Some guy. Where you at? Some guy. Juicy, nice. Juicy's on the offense now. Some guy's busy oh. talking. They're down a man. Advantage. Take advantage. Oh. This could be. Oh, oh no. yeah. Oh, shot. That's my Dude, bad. <laughs> you say that. Rowitz from half court is automatic. Right, hold on. Don't touch it yet. Let's make a game plan here. What do you want to do? <laughs> no. Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> by, by doing that and saying go, it actually did seem like you guys had some kind of a plan. <laughs> We're back channeling. We went to private chat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, here we go, Juice. Here we go. Oh. Wow, some guy with a huge ah. save. Some guy did save that. Yeah, barely nicked it. Oh, Juicy. Juicy going the other way, roundabout. Uh-oh, Roa, it's not a good spot for us. dangerous nice right, there. right there. There we go, nice. Juicy, let's keep that boy up. Nice. Dangerous from oh. midfield. Whip, little He's whip. Absolutely good. dangerous from it's midfield. It's on control. control. Uh-oh, oh. we're good. Bad shot, bad shot. Run him down, run him down. <laughs> this is a this is a very big game for us. If we lose, we go home. Oh, some guy. What are you doing, some guy? Oh, there we go. Let's do this, boys. Let's attack. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Time to attack. Oh, you see, boy, you see, big cat. Yes, Let's go. get it, get it, get it, get it. Go. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Huge. I definitely thought we had that unlock. <clears throat> some guys, some guys loving it in the comments right now. Um, <laughs> we got it. I mean, so that means it's two, two. So we got to at least do one more. Let's do it. Are we doing best of seven? No, best of five, right? If you want. Do you prefer five or seven? I mean, it's already 11. Yeah, best of five. <laughs> yeah, right. let's do – yeah, I got one more. I need to go eat and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Take care for two hours. You got to go eat and meditate. Poor dog's probably like, uh, do you remember me? Oh, yeah. I forgot you got the doggy. Ooh, oh, some, some guy. guy. Good, good D, some guy. Get that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So I know, as I said, uh, remind me after this, I got to connect you with Adam Locke from the yeah. Bitcoin Hedge Fund. And then also send me like your three favorite pictures of your doggy. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And if you can with the oh. dog pictures, oh. I mean, it might be the same location but i found putting like a date and location on the metadata is kind of cool oh my bad some guy so if you could uh for each oh, one nice shot. send me the nice original pass. get it let's go Good pass, big hey, pass. guys that's my bad i was i was trying to oh hey, what we're down to what what keep talking adam <laughs> all right my bad let's get back on this Perfect send me the doggies yeah 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 <laughs> keep talking about dogs that was not paying attention. Uh -oh. there. Yeah, I saw you got a little Christmas card to your dog, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Luca. Nikki found the that place. I, she sent me this place that did all these like cute pictures for dogs. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That must be in like LA or something. And then uh, I was like, oh, no, it's like five, ten minutes from where we live. Oh, hey. That's awesome. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, come on. I come on, baby.
Out of here, DZ. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the back, the back off the. Oh, here we go. Hold Bring on. Each other off there. Yeah, there, there we go. Here we go, Roets. Oh. Oh no! Oh, it bounced. Wow. Shoot. <laughs> That's my bad. That's 100 percent my bad. Holy oh, wow! <laughs> right. <in the laughs> we we will wow. take no. it. Shot. We're gonna make this a game. Oh, let's go. Oh shit! Oh, wait, we, are gonna... <laughs> <laughs> we will make you guys make it a game. Oh my! Let's go. <laughs> that was all on me. I don't even know what I was doing. Blue team, let's go. This is this is for all the marbles oh, here. Oh, we could have given you a straight shot there. No, oh, why did I go backwards? <laughs> what are you doing, big <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good freaking – oh, my bad, Roets. My bad. But good save, Roets, as well, because Ke Keegs was gunning for the freaking <laughs> goal on that one. I could see it. Oh. You can go either way, some guy. We got it covered on both sides. There you go. And yeah, we will take that. <laughs> no, that was a good pass. Go, 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 go. Oh. I think I had it there. It was just a little – little Oh, wow. Oh, are you ah. kidding me? It was a hat trick on that one. How? Dang it! I did not like boot that when I touched it. That kind of sucks, man. Is that loud? Sounds like you want. It sounds like you want a best of seven now. No, I just left. I I, I, no, I no, do, but I left for that reason. Big cat, look at the ads I'm getting here. Click funnels. I love it. <laughs> did you say you were going back and forth with uh, Jason Wright? Me? Yeah. Jason Wright. No. He's the one that does like the, the active campaign stuff for. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I'm going to reach out to him eventually, but. Oh, you know. Yeah, I just remembered. It was um, it's uh, the guy. Have you met Casey Silveria? He's in Netherlands. Uh, no. OK, that so. actually that could be a cool connection. Actually, now I think about it. Um, I just introduced Juicy Captain to Casey yesterday. So Juicy, are you in Raise Masters? <laughs> And Rage Masters? Yeah, are you part of it? <laughs> uh, that would no, be dope, I but nah. I mean, I so I feel kind of weird on this, but like, it is what it is. Um, like I've known Juicy my whole life. I've known Keeks my whole life, and so I wanted to. They've expressed interest in getting into our industry, Big Cat. Yeah. So I may or may not have given them my login credentials. There you so go. That way, so that way they could see the the modules from the mentorship program. I'll be specific. Yeah. I gave that's, it to my that's girlfriend. That's bought access to. So I'm like, I kind of feel kind of weird knowing that Big Cat just paid for it. And meanwhile, Keegs and Juicy are getting free access. <laughs> but um, I mean, they're only getting access to the modules. So, well, right. and I guess they get you too, which is like a huge thing. So yeah, they're not in the Facebook group. So there's that. So you guys are getting exclusive. Yeah, yeah, Ju uh, got it for sure. Big Cat just just paid for that, so I know you guys are going through it. Uh, are you on module five yet? Me, Vic Keegs, or Vic? No. Okay, no. that would oh be the God. one if if you're gonna get into. I think it's module five. Yeah, if you're gonna get into underwriting, that would be. Like, are you talking about Race Masters or the other one? The CFC? Sorry, they don't have. They don't have. No, they don't. They just have my stuff for um the mentorship program. Oh, but, you're talking about CFC. Okay, not yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one, right. Yeah, still paid a good amount, but yeah, not but nearly as one, much as Race Masters. <laughs> no, no, it's not even close to Race Masters, but <clears throat> the mentorship program content is a game changer. I mean, I know personally it, it was for me, and I think if you guys can – a lot of it might seem like Chinese, but as Big Cat was saying, if you can zone in on something like Module 5 and become really good at underwriting or something – that's a skill where anyone would. If you if you want to stay like behind the scenes, if that's what you like, then underwriting, like being able to source deals, is huge. If you can underwrite, right? Like Logan probably gets sent. I can't imagine how many deals he gets sent in a day, right? Or his whole team gets in a day, and if they just can compile them and send them to you, and you can take a day and underwrite eight deals and tell them, you know which of those eight are like pencil good, then that's a huge. Right. And a lot of it, my, my understanding, I haven't done a whole lot of underwriting, but a lot of, a lot of under, <laughs> Nikki, what's up? 
Uh, my wife is working on her underwriting skills too. She um, she bought Beardsley's course, which you have access to through Raise Masters, Big Cut. You got a lot of content on your hands, man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Um, all right, boys, I'm out of here. All right, later, man. Great um, meeting you. Nice to meet you, Big Cat. Yeah, Keegs, you, any, uh, you just bouncing like that? Nothing? What do nothing you want me to do? do? I don't know. That is very – You have a signature cool. sign-off what, that you do? What should I say, Adam? Uh, I don't know. Let's make you a, like a slogan or something every time you leave. Um, all right, what do you want to do? I'm out. Late. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Late. Put it down. <laughs> is that it? Just <laughs> – <laughs> there it is. He's out. What was that thing they used to? Yeah, the lazy P sign that the kids used to do. I don't know. Wait. Oh, this one, the Chinese one. And all you think, say, and do. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry, dude. Uh, before I forget, though, yeah. So underwriting, <laughs> Keegs and Vic. But Keegs, I could see you definitely. You're a little bit more. I'm a people person, man. I got yeah, to. it's all yeah, just I don't, a I don't giant see spreadsheet. So I don't necessarily see Vic being a spreadsheet guy either, but I can see him leveraging it to get what he wants. So the That's good news, the, the good news about it is, you're not building the spreadsheet every time. It's all there for you. You just put in the numbers, and so yeah, right. yeah. You don't as have long to know how to build it. it it's all goes. just there for you. Exactly. As long as you all know right, where well, the numbers go. All right. Well, I'll see you. <laughs> all right, all right Keegs. Um, Keegs, feel free to send me something else that you want maybe turned into NFT too and we'll see if we can do it here before the end of the day. If not, we'll get it out tomorrow. All right. I yeah. should. What's the best way to send you those pictures? Uh, Telegram. Just okay. Telegram. And, and also, uh, yeah, when you get a chance, definitely download Telegram for the desktop. It's oh, a yeah, game changer. Okay. It's it makes everything so much easier. Perfect. I should. Right. Uh, maybe, I'm probably gonna maybe. head out as well. Okay. Um, yeah, Appreciate send it over. It. Vic module five <laughs> is the one that I think if you master that, then you could pretty much walk up to anyone and be like, "Hey, I'll do your underwriting." Um, you could do. I mean, I introduced him to Casey. I don't know. You've met Casey in our group yet, but he's based out of the Netherlands from Idaho, actually, so not too far from you, and. Um, you know, he's just getting started. He's like, hey, Adam, do you have any interns or someone who's looking to just, you know, do some sweat equity type of work? And I introduced him to Vic. I don't know if they've connected yet, but. Um, yeah, he actually, he just reached out to me today. Okay. So, so. but yeah, Big Cat, when you start underwriting your deals, man, just hit up Juicy. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something I want to learn, but I for sure am. Uh, I like the idea of just bringing the money and that being my. I'm about to register. I got a call with a lawyer tomorrow to start getting Katani Capital Group fully registered in Wyoming and dialed. It sounds uh, dope, man. Honestly, Katani Capital. <laughs> yeah. CCG. You got to get like, I don't know. I feel like you got to get a like a Katana somewhere in the branding. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would was, be sweet. Waiting for it. For sure. to think about. All right, guys. But, um, who you what's are you meeting with Byron? No, I can't get a hold of Byron. What's his Oh really? Yeah. Well, I don't is the email address he has on his Slack profile his best email? Uh it's Byron at I think like three pillars law. Is that right? He's been pretty responsive on Slack. And actually we just had somebody join I today. I hit him up who... on Slack the other day and he hasn't. Oh dang. No, I okay. had him up three weeks ago. That's odd. Uh let me someone so oh would you yeah say? that's right what is it you said it's byron at what byron at i think three pillars law.com i think but um that's my third saying. request so the dogs adam lock and then like let me know if you actually because i'll reconnect you with him if you actually want to have a call with him if you've already got something set up with another attorney like i don't want to like with who? mess that up either right so with byron Oh, to ha I think you should be having a call with Byron if you're looking to do anything legal in the real estate space. Yeah, I want to. The capital who, I mean, Adam he's gonna, he's, again, Adam huh? Locke? Oh, Adam's the Bitcoin hedge fund guy. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> cool. But I think that... Uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'll email... Uh, I, I think I sent it to... I sent it to whatever email he has on his profile, which is not that. 
Okay, yeah, I think it's Byron at threepillarslaw.com, and it's like the number three. I've sent it to people so many times, but of course I can't remember it right now. Naturally. I just dropped a uh, quick NFT in the chat, so whoever saw it. Hey, you figured out the drop links. Good stuff, Vic. I did. Got All right. Work. I'm putting it in the private chat, uh, Big Cat. Okay. So hit him up. Tell him we sent you. Tell him I sent you. He's the man. Uh, he works with our members at a discounted rate, and I know his starting rates for what he does are already like – you know, he's already a steal as it is. So. <laughs> yeah, I just Love need it. him to help That's me. Yeah, I bet he has like a flat rate for this process because I'm sure he can do it in his sleep. So that'll be nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to email him tomorrow. Perfect. Dope. That's great because I really don't want to work with – not that I don't want to work with someone. I've never – I just like working with people who can be vouched for, you know, especially when it comes to lawyers. So – yeah. Yeah, him and P Peter Fisher is awesome too. Peter's uh, insanely expensive, but he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's with Sklar Kirsch. I'll put his name in here. It's somebody who, like, if you reach out to him on LinkedIn and you tell him that you know us, I'm sure he'll be nice to you, but Sweet. I don't know if his rates are going to beat. I think that's how you spell it. I don't know if his rates beat Byron. So um, <clears throat> good stuff. Well, Dude, you're the man. I appreciate it. You guys are going to take – is. Uh, is your wife coming to LA too? That's the plan. Nikki will be there. Yeah. Yes. Definitely taking you both out to dinner for sure. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, Nikki. You can uh maybe you can underwrite for Big Cat. We'll see. Do uh yeah, pick do you guys like sushi? You hit the nail on the head, actually. If she's listening still right now, <laughs> she's like, how did you know? Yeah, pick a sushi <laughs> place and uh it's my treat in LA, which I mean, there's gonna be some good ones there. Definitely. Dude, thank you. There cool. we go. All right, guys. <laughs> Had a great See, time, we, Adam. You got back in the comments there, Big Cat. Big Cat, you got back to you in the comments. How do you see it? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, dude. Thanks for coming on. Peace. Peace. See ya. Uh, all right, boy. Now we got to have a, a pep talk before the 20. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do that. Huh? <laughs> it's like coming up December 23rd. <laughs> yeah, I got to show you something that I'm confident you will laugh your ash off at. And um, I'm actually waiting on probably at least six more videos. Um, this is going to make sense in a second. I'm waiting for a si about six more of these. And um, this is one of the ones that came back to me first. Let me just find, I got to find my email. What up? What up, Cesaron? Some guy. Morton, I see you out there. What's up? What's up? We're going to be shutting it down here soon. Ordonez, Reddish, I think you guys, if you guys are still with us there, make some noise. Uh, all right, so are you ready to laugh? Um, I am ready. I could pre-bedtime laugh. All right. I don't know if you ever heard of this platform before. Have you heard of? Uh, oh wait, I thought I had the thing up. Nah. Have you heard of? Have you heard of Cameo? I've heard of it, but I have no idea what it is. Okay, cool. Um, let me just get out of Hacks Ball real quick. I don't even know how to explain this except for I've just, I've got some more coming, and once I get them all, I, I like I wanted to share this with the boys, but I'm like, let me just wait until I get all of them. So uh, here's one of eight. <laughs> Oh, what up? This is the King Fat Boy Papa Wesco, and welcome to the bodega where the 2021 NSSL Winter Classic is just around the corner. Hey, Commissioner Lineberger wants me to ask y'all a question. Who from the Todd squad is going to bring that title home this year? Is it going to be Rebro? I don't think so. Because from what I hear, you need to cut the BS and man the fuck up. Maybe it's just a Roni. Maybe. I think I got my money on Davey Lon John. But at uh, the end of the day, good. it don't matter who takes it as long as everybody gets doity on them. Let me ask y'all a question. Is this really Super Mario Strikers from GameCube? Yo, I might need to get on this action. Y'all got to buy in? Never mind. Maybe next time. At the end of the day, y'all have fun. 
and let me know who brings that title home. Got it? Good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> the part about Rebro is the funniest part. This is going to cut. This, uh, everyone's going to be dying. I just saw that I got one more from uh, – like I just tried to find the most random people too. Like Jamario Moon is on there. You remember him? Oh yeah. So, so like, Jamario Moon just sent me one. <laughs> uh, it's dude. It's it's gonna be good. Um, I'll tell you after we stop going live because it does have to be top secret. But you're gonna like. I kind. I basically I, I found somebody that could give everyone a little bit of a shout out. Probably the best one. <laughs> I paid the most for that one, and for a good reason. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Do you do you have a GameCube? By the way, I do not. I have the okay. I have the Wii, which I have not busted that. Oh, out. okay. If you have a Wii, we might need to find a way to to get you a controller and just the game to practice. Yeah, but also, I haven't played it in like. Two years really since the last time we did it. So <laughs> that could be a good actually that could be a good thing too, though. I remember normally the 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 years that I actually feel like I haven't won were the years when I was playing with somebody who was like like really good. I feel like it's more of an advantage to us for you to not be like this <laughs> sounds bad, but for you to not be too good, because like that actually it just makes it more complex. Whereas if you're you know where you're at skill level where you're at right now, it's like pass shoot that's it but if you get really good you start learning how to like move the specials and tweak the specials and next thing you know if you're with someone else who's really good you're like, oh shit like you know right. you know? it's like a power um, struggle so actually yeah maybe we won't have you <laughs> practice a whole lot until game day but we got to win it man I, I wrote down i was telling at the beginning of the stream within between now and 2024 i want to win six championships and i don't care six championships. i don't care what they are in <laughs> To me, this is good enough for one. Um, right. Keegs was talking about playing chess and stuff earlier. Like, I just want to win some more rings. So, well, is, he, is, is Keegs playing chess or something? Yeah, he plays competitively. He's like top 2% in the world or something on whatever oh, platform. Really? Whatever platform he plays it on, he's like top 2%. Holy shit. But he talks about it as if he's not good. So that means whoever he's playing against in that percentile must be also insane. So Right. Yeah, Keegs, um, Keegs is like, just you've learned random facts about Keegs. Like, I feel like <laughs> every other day I hear something else. I'm like, I don't know about that. Yeah. Did uh, do you know? Is your girl still going to be at like the Christmas party the day of Strikers? Yeah. So we got to go there first. I think that starts at five, five or six. Oh, really? We're first, so we're starting. We're starting at three, right? I emailed you back. Okay, I was making sure. Is that okay for you to be starting that early? Um. We so can I maybe, think if I'm remembering right, the Christmas party starts at six. The one that she's going to? Yeah. It's her boss's Christmas party. So I yeah. do have to make an appearance there, is the problem. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what so are you I, thinking? I right emailed now? you saying, because I thought it was seven. So my it was. Plan was it, to go there. And then actually, I think she said it starts at five. Because my original plan was to leave at like six and make I it see. out to the, yeah. to the tournament. Huh. Yeah, we so moved it. Because some guy's we're just thinking, lurking, he's creeping. <laughs> some guy went up. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's interesting. And sorry for the confusion there. Um, we moved it earlier because we were thinking, all right, if we're gonna be meeting up with the ladies later, then like there's gonna like by the time we're done with the 20, if we do it at seven, no one's gonna be going out anywhere. Right. But we kind of wanted to like make going out a part of the night, so we but moved it to earlier. How long is the turning going to take, though? That's what, that's my question. Because like I could maybe you know if I showed up late, because they're probably not going to eat until six thirty or something there. Where where is the party at? It's, it's in Chardon, but it's like the far side, the west Dang. side of Chardon. It's like oh so. west side. But still, I'm just thinking that's not close to Ohio City. So no. Um, I guess you and I will need to figure out something to make it work for you to get there. Because that's her, her boss puts on like a big dinner. And would you be able to, if you, if you don't have to be there till six, would you be able to come and play like, hmm, dang. <laughs> that's what I was, I was thinking. I was like, I was like, well, what if I, what if I went there and played? Like come earlier in the day. 
Yeah, I, I could can, probably come earlier in the day, but then I feel like we would have I think we would be done with the 20 by six. Yeah, if I could be done by six and make it out there by like six thirty, seven o'clock, I think I'd be Yeah, right. if you left at six, you would get to Chardon probably at six forty five. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Unless we can move it back just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, like two, one, two, oh, five. two no. <laughs> we could. But, we could. The only thing is, we can't get into the Airbnb to p- start playing <laughs> until three. Oh, really? But Spees said that he's okay if we if people start showing up at his house to the Airbnb. Yeah, maybe we started at Spees's and then and then after everyone plays each other once, <laughs> then we take it to the Airbnb. John, I don't know. We gotta. And the other thing too is, for the sake of the ladies, you know, we don't want to be changing the start time. I'd say like. If we change the start time, this definitely got to be the one that we set in stone just because they're kind of basing their shenanigans off of us, too. So, right. uh, yeah, we'll have to discuss I'll, that one. I'll have to take it up with the uh, with the committee. <laughs> it's me, Keegs, me, <laughs> Keegs, Veenwe, and Bunzi are on the, the committee. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, it's, I it's, think it's, you make a good point. I think we might be able to do like the first half at Spees's. And then, yeah, it just so happens, you know, they both fall on the same day, of course. So, yeah, I mean, there's some, some like, yeah, some people can't make it. Ruby, Ruby lands in Cleveland at like 1130. So it was like, sorry, right. I can't wait till we can't wait till 1130 p.m. to start doing the 20, you know? Right. Well, actually, I think I missed the last one. So that's how I'm like trying to push to make this. One, so. <laughs> so we can do it. The, the girls, Nikki. Speaking on behalf of ladies, if we buy them a pizza, <laughs> then we can do it earlier. Okay. I'll buy you a nice American pizza, baby. They got some weird pizza up here, Vic. I'm a, I ain't going to lie. Nikki knows what I'm talking about. They, The Newfoundlanders love it. Um, I feel like if somebody made the pizza the way they make it here in Cleveland, they'd be like, what is this? They like – do you like eating your – when you get meat on pizza, do you like the meat to be under the cheese? Under the cheese? No, usually it's sitting on top of the cheese. Right. That's your preference though, right, is on top? Yeah. Cause sometimes I just pick like sausage or something. I'll just pick it off and eat it sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> nice. Actually, some guy, you're in Canada, so you might actually, this might even be a Canadian thing, not just a Newfoundland thing. They love putting the meat under the cheese here. Uh, pepperoni in particular, and they call it pepperoni, but dude, it's like salami slash bologna and it's under the cheese and it drives me nuts. Cause it's like, in my opinion, it's like, it's not crispy cooked. You know, you want to put the meat on top, get a little crispy action, you know, from the pepperoni. Um, well, he's just some guy. His opinion doesn't matter. So you like it on top. I like to eat sausage. <laughs> <laughs> some guys coming in with the doity jokes tonight. Oh uh, um, man! So yeah, you got me on that one. I don't really have a response. All to right. That. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to do some kind of announcement to to tweak it so you're i think yeah it sounds like you're gonna have to be on the road by six do you think at any point you and your lady could come back down to town and party with everyone uh i know i probably could i'm trying to don't know if she, she's definitely she invited the, i don't know if you, she has you a bunch it. of friends that are going to be there the did you see the um, oh that's right she's going to be with of course yeah so maybe not yeah. that's fine um did you see the airbnb that we're going to be at yeah yeah, I saw some of the pictures. I didn't actually look a lot into it because okay. I emailed you right back right afterwards. So I didn't. You e- when did I email it? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't know. I could look at my look at my sent emails here because that's okay. Cool. Yeah, that's funny that I was like I don't remember seeing the email. You, I emailed you November 24th. Oh my bad. Oh, if it was on the 24th, yeah, we were, we were, uh, we were actually at an Airbnb during that time. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, bag oh, man. <laughs> what it's a bag full of puppies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me see if I got any more NFTs to give away here. Did everybody claim the links? Let's see, they did. Um, oh, I just realized we were supposed to have Big Cat uh buy some NFTs on stream, and that didn't happen, but whatever. Yeah, I got to figure out like wax dollars and stuff. I still I don't feel comfortable enough with NFTs to just go buying them. 
Yeah, it takes takes some time, takes some getting used to. Did you claim? I think I sent it to you on Telegram. Did you claim the one that I sent? Yeah, yeah, I got that one. It was the. Actually, I'll look at my inventory here. Nikki, if you're in the comments, don't claim that one. I'm gonna send you one. If it's too late, then <laughs> then claim like, we'll get back. <laughs> look at the leg fold. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's time to time to shut it down um oh i think it was figuring out how to how to coordinate on that day i'm trying to think if there was something else um we'll put it this way if you have oh, was it the, the guest speaker for our announcement or something like that uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. Thank you. yeah 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 that's right so. Yeah, it's a surprise. And Nikki, I know you're listening. You're probably wondering who it is. So I'll tell you two in, in a moment. But um, yeah, the person who's <laughs> who's doing the pep talk for you and me is well, definitely We're live part. right now. <laughs> we, we are live. He hasn't sent it to so, me either. I was going to say, I don't know if you want to announce it on here, if you want to do it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hit end broadcast and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, yeah. Everyone, thank you for hanging out here on the Shift Plus. That's Juicy Captain. I'm General Moses. You should see his face popping up here a lot more, I would say. Uh, nice Chief Wahoo behind you. That should be an NFT. <laughs> yeah, well, now that I got set up, moved out of the house, I actually have internet, my webcam, and everything set up. So, Doity. So, wait, did you – I'm trying to remember. You bought a house. Did you just buy a second one? No. So I sold mine. I actually am living with my grandmother until my wedding. And then oh. we're buying a house probably before the wedding. We'll probably move in cool. before the wedding. And then, but it gives us a couple months to save and yeah, I figure get rid of the house while the market was high because who yeah. knows what happens next year. So good thinking. Where, uh, where are you looking for houses right now? Probably Chardon area. Okay. We were actually we we're thinking Chardon area, and I we were talking the other day about That'd be possibly doity. looking in Tennessee, even if we didn't buy, but renting in Tennessee or something Ooh, for a year or two. Dude. I say one thousand percent go to Tennessee. That's what I want to do. That's uh, where I'm I think, in is Tennessee. So that would be. Uh, is Tennessee considered? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. Tennessee's. He's dope. talking about Chief Wahoo in the background. Is that considered? Oh, racist? oh yeah, it is considered <laughs> racist now. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Tennessee is, is there's everyone's moving to Florida, Texas, and then Tennessee's right up there. There's like like zero to no state tax or whatever. Um, right. And I think if you guys are looking to go somewhere where there's like a bunch of people going to it and a lot of opportunities popping off left and right, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know me, like I haven't lived in Northeast Ohio for a while, and I just feel like every time you can go live somewhere else, it's just it can only help you in the long run. If you guys don't like it, then, you know, you move back to Ohio or whatever, but. Well, that's what we're thinking. Maybe a year or two or longer, just, yeah. you know, well, the marriage is still yeah. young. And or if you guys, out, you know, get away. you can look at the Gulf coast of Florida. If that, if you, if you feel like that's calling your name, it's looking, looking like the writing on the wall for us. So. Yeah. Well, we, we've thought about Florida and then I've also thought about, like you're talking about before Austin, like that area, not in Austin, but. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you like life how it was before the pandemic, then these are the states that you need to move to. Everyone right. tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how we're thinking Tennessee, but I like to we love Tennessee also. We've been there a couple times. Yeah. So. Doy. Well, if you need any connections there, I I do know I do have a few people uh, in the mastermind with Big Cat that are in Tennessee that love it. So did you listen? I did a Dream Chasers interview recently. It says Tennessee is the place to be. Did you listen to that one? <laughs> I don't think I did. Put the pressure on you. You actually, you, sh you should peep it based on this topic, and maybe it'll give you and um, Chloe, right? Yeah. No, actually, you know what? I think I watch or not watch, but listen to like the first fifteen minutes of it the other day when I was at work, and then okay, Stuart Heath and never turned it back on. So, so Stuart Heath in that interview actually talks about how he was on campus with the guy that is going to be giving you and me. Shout outs. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Where is his 181? Share, copy link. Got to send it to Juicy Captain. Where's he at? 
<laughs> what is that? What's the avatar that you got? By the way, is that, is that an NFT or did you just pick a random one? Uh, have you ever seen the uh, the cartoon when you're a kid, Captain Planet? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's who it is, Captain Planet. So, <laughs> yeah. all right, yeah. So check check that interview out. And um, I know we said we're signing off like a billion times now, so we're signing off. Everyone, thank you for tuning into the Shift Plus. We'll be back Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we do this every Monday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And actually, so you can come hang out with us on Monday. And then news flash next Thursday, we're having uh, Ross from the Crypto Girl team on stream with us. And he's going to play chess against Keegs. So that's going to be fun. All right. Now I got to tell you uh, who's doing our shout out. And everyone, if you want to know who it is, then you can ask who it is uh, about a week from now. So <laughs> remember in. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And thank you, Subin. Thank you, some guy, everyone who's hung out here the whole night. Nikki, I'll see you in a second. Thank you all. Uh, we appreciate it. Join our uh, Discord, which if you look into any of the links that we dropped throughout the stream, if you go find the Shift Collabs thing, if you look on the description, you click join in the, the URL, that's the how you get into the Discord. All right. You guys are awesome. Remember, in all you think, say, Alex Luther, what's up? And do take it to the next level.